Good evening and welcome to a Claret and View from the Terrace, episode nine uh, from Full to Mine. I'm Duke. I've got two guests waiting in the wings, um, so I'm going to bring them in now. First one is my, as always, wonderful wingman, Mr. Gates. How are you doing, sir? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm not too bad, thank you, Duke. <laughs> not too bad at all, thank you. Yes, yes. So we're there already, are we? It took 40 seconds. Right. Anyway, I can see him absolutely pissing his pants in the green room. Let's bring him in. Absolutely <laughs> crying. Look at him. Mr. Miles, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. I'm all right. I, just, I don't need to watch TV no more. It's like watching uh, watching used to, isn't it? It's, it's class. It's carnage. It's carnage. <laughs> Less than 45 seconds in, Andy. It's carnage. Well, he's hiding the screen because he's turned into jazz. He's probably on his back. He's flipping eighth glass of bloody runt this afternoon. That's probably an even. <laughs> it's worrying. And... A gentleman that joined, uh, a gentleman that joined mid zippy or mid bungle or God knows whatever that was, is from the other side of the uh, uh, the water, <sighs> pond, the lake, whatever we're going to call it. How uh, doing, Cal? You good? I am. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm grand yourselves. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm hoping so, mate. If I can get through this, we might be. Um, I'll, I'll let you know. It depends on whether any more I'll, I'll famous children TV, yeah, any more famous TV characters from the eighties turn up. I don't know yet, but we'll uh, we'll get there. So, put it out to all of you there, boys, and the, and the seven, six, seven um, that are in the live chat. Uh, I hope everyone's well. Um, obviously, um, the season has now come to a close. Um, and to be honest, I've got to say, uh, I feel a bit flat now. I feel a bit like there's, there's, I know we've got the Euros coming up and I know, you know, we spoke last night, guys, didn't we, about the, um, uh, about that, that good feeling of seeing it through now and, and yeah. you know, enjoying what we've just had. But I, I feel like I'm lost now. I, I feel like I've got nothing really apart from, you know, eight, nine weeks away, anything to really look forward to next week. Do you know what I mean? It's that feeling of just feeling lost now of not having yeah. West Ham to look forward to after what was such a magnificent season. Andy, what do you reckon? Are you, are you uh, feeling the same? Yeah, I am. But I know I know it's all like, but I reckon if we had two more games, we would have got Champions League. If there was 40 games in a season, I could see Chelsea crumbling, Leicester cr like. It could have been ours. Do you know what I mean? It really could have been ours. Like when you when you think about it. But no, I, I'm going to be lost. And uh, it's, but it's a good thing. I think the, the the team needs it as well. Like I know we've got the Euros, but I, there's not going to be many, is there? What it, I know, uh, Suchek, Kufal, Fabianski, Lingard, Rice. But there's not really anyone anyone else of our players who have been called up yet. So it's not like. Last year, when the season finished, what did they have? What six weeks, and then it's back playing again. A lot yeah. of the players, are like the, the older players, are more thinking of like the a Bonner, Creswell, etc. This long break's hopefully going to do us good because we're all going on a European tour. European. You know what? <laughs> I yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gacy, Gacy, how do you, uh, do, do you do you feel the same? Obviously, with uh, you know now the lack of West Ham for a number of weeks. Yeah, it feels a little bit after the Law Player show, doesn't it? You know, we've sort of we've had all the excitement, all the ups and downs, the twists and turns of the thirty-eight match Premier League season, and. As I said yesterday, um, we conquered Everest, and we we really did. When you consider where we came from twelve months earlier, and the the, the turnaround and and the change and the the sort of like in mentality as well as performance levels and all the rest of it, and then achieving sixth place when a lot of people were, you know, sort of like after getting beat by Chelsea, getting beat by Everton, dropping points at Brighton. People were wondering, you know, are we going to do a Spurs? Well, we didn't. We we managed, you know, with those two games to, you know, to go, we managed to find a way to win. And 
that's all that, that matters at that stage of the season, you know, getting the job done. And, and we did it. Now, the, obviously, the only thing that we've got to occupy ourselves now, between now and when the season begins, is all of the transfer speculation. And I don't know if you boys have seen, but there's there's been a bit of it on, on the grapevine. But mm. other than that, yeah, it's um, yeah, it does feel a little bit like, yeah, we've done it now. What next? Yeah, mm. Cal, how about you, buddy? Um, well, like it's, I think it's more even the 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 stuff to talk about the pre-game shows, the after-game shows, sort of thinking of what's gonna the teams are going to be like, all that stuff. Uh, the the games themselves, I was. God, they made made me awfully anxious in in the last few weeks of them. So uh, I suppose I can do with a few weeks off. It's it's perfect timing for over here. Our Gaelic season, we're two weeks into it, so uh, I still have that to look forward to. And uh, so I get to watch all the Gaelic, and I think there might be a few rugby matches left that I can watch. But uh, I'll start, I will I I'll miss it, but I'll be back soon enough. Uh, kind of have to have to have a break from it at some point. Yeah, I mean, listen, as Gacy just said there, boys, I mean, we, we are going to have the uh, the usual, you know, um, kind of big board on the wall, you know, with about three or four, uh, three or four thousand players on a board and literally um, Gold, Sullivan and Brady standing in a very long room, um, dashing darts at it to see, you know, which one... Uh, we, we might be signing, you know, before the end of the transfer window. Um, so, um, first things first, then, um, I'm going to put it out to you guys out in the chat. I've got, a, I'm, I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm pulling a blank um, as to what to talk about, really. Like I say, I feel a bit flat. I feel a bit um, lost, if I will. Um, just to go back to Ben's comment there, uh, Gatesy, if I may. Um, who, Ben? Who was the members of staff? I've been here six and a half years, and I hope they only talk good stuff about me. <laughs> um, so, we're going to put it out to you guys <laughs> in the chat to come up for ideas um, for us as to what, what you guys want to talk about. So, first things first, in the, uh, in the chat um, was uh, Alex has, has commented there, so I'm going to, first of all, uh, throw this out there just for a quick uh, one, one, one word. Oh, he knows Chloe. Loved Chloe. She was a good girl. Um, Going to throw it out there for um, everyone to just give me a one word answer or a two word, depending on where you think we're going to finish uh, or where we're going to go. Uh, Gacy, where do you think England are going to get to in the Euros? We're going to win it. Of course we are. We're going to win it. You, listen, you've got to be positive. Now, Maybe I'm being overly optimistic. I'm, a li- I'm possibly being a little bit facetious, but if I'm if I'm being a little bit more realistic, why not semi-finals? You know, a lot of the games we're going to be playing at Wembley anyway, from what I'm led to believe. And in our last two tournaments that we've played, we've got third and fourth place finish. Now, all right, you could turn around and say, yeah, but the, the, the um, Nations League, it's it's a new tournament. Nobody gives a monkeys this, that, and the other. Well, look at who won it. You know, don't tell me that the, the teams that, that won that tournament weren't giving a monkeys about it. They did. And, and you know, worked the World Cup as well, you know, uh, previously to that. So, you know, why why can't we go to the semifinals? And, and, you know, maybe, maybe instead of getting to a semifinal and getting knocked out at that stage, maybe we might be able to make it one step further this time. Who knows? I mean, you look at the players that we've got. We've got young, we've got exciting talent. We've got people like Phil Foden, you know, we've got people like Jack Grealish, you know, players that that week on week are players that make you watch with wonder at some of the skills that they manage to weave on a football pitch. So, you know, there's absolutely no reason why we couldn't go there and win it. As I say, I'm being a little bit facetious and possibly coming over as a bit Jim and Gigaistic. I'm not, I'm not sort of like suggesting for one minute that, you know, we're, we're, you know, red hot favourites or anything like that. But for God's sakes, we've made the semi-finals in our last two tournaments that we've played in. So why couldn't we make the final? No, fair comment. Cal, you're, uh, <laughs> do you want to just want to give us, you know, uh, where you yes, think England uh, will go? <laughs> um, 
it's a really good sort of squad there. It's it's well good enough. The thing is, that's typical England. England have had good squads for a lot of things, and it's just it hasn't gone their way. Uh, I don't think um, I I I don't think uh, Gareth Southgate's good enough for them kinds of players. I don't think he is that sort of skilled management kind of. As if if you were to give him Ben Ram or Fornals, he'd play the Fornals. He's that kind of manager. He's not for these sort of ticky taka skill lads. But uh, I could see them getting to the quarters. I could. They are good enough to get to the final. It's just realistically, I don't know if, if all them players can mesh together too well. And I think France are going to win it. I think there's Fran France's squad that they have there. It'd be take a lot to beat that. Yeah, I mean, I. I you know. I think that's meant to say Gatesy, but I just yeah, think it is. So he, he did correct himself in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> I blame him so correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, oh, I've been called worse. I have been called yeah, worse. Yeah, I, I can believe it. Um, I, yeah, um, Cal, I've got to say, I, I did read somewhere online earlier today. Um, I think it was when I got up uh, to see my delivery in this morning. Um, I, I think I read somewhere that. Uh, France, France actually had twenty-three under twenty, uh, twenty-three under twenty-three play defenders playing in the top five leagues um, in the last season. Which um, that's madness. And some of the names that were there, I did have a, a, a quick um, a quick Google. Uh, I've got to say to uh, find out some of these names because I didn't have a scoop. Fra France are that good; they can afford to let Imeric Laporte play for Spain. Yes, I did think this, and I was I was. But they're, yeah, they're twenty three. That's how good they are. Twenty three defenders under the age of twenty three that were playing in the top five leagues in Europe this season. I, I just think that's absolutely. Outstanding, and these these are not just you know all of them. This these, these are kids that have got a, a fantastic future, and they didn't include the up, which I was a bit pissed off at because I'm sure our old G now he's only 23, and so I'm, I'm a bit miffed at that one because I think he's a great player. Uh, Marzi, your opinions? Where do you reckon England are going to get to? Uh, lose lose on penalties in the final. I, I, I tell you what, why? What? Why? You've why? just created a really depressing scenario for a lot of people. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want my opinion, I reckon we're going to be a bit like Rob, a bit like Gacy, and I reckon we're going to have a really ropey semi. <laughs> well, every, everybody well, would you, would you rather be our age, dude, final. To be fair, would you, would you say rather make the final though? <laughs> Would I rather make it to the final? I'd, I'd yeah, listen. would you rather make it to the final to lose yes. on penalties and go through that heartbreak or go out in the semis? No, I, 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 no, I would rather. I'd, I'd want to get to the final and then you go from there. I really would. I'd, I'd listen, at the end of the day, this, uh, as, as Casey mentioned earlier, um, there, there's some real good young attacking players in that team and, and, and um, this guy has nailed it, I think. I think, you know, we have a great set of midfielders and, and, and attacking set of players. I just do think we struggle um, defensively. And, and, and again, I look at, I've got to be honest, I look at the people that have, have added Harry Maguire into their team of the season and, and I really don't understand or see what they see. I, I really don't. I, um, you know, I think it's more what Man United are without him. He's more, he's more of a leader yeah, than his actual that, quality. But is that a reflection on Harry Maguire as a player? Or is that a reflection of just what Man United have got after him? Do you see what I mean? Well, I've got a question uh, uh, for you, Duke. It says here about a weak defence. Well, who would be your... If you was Gareth Southgate, what would be your Eng England defence? back? Four? I think his argument is... I think his argument is that as a country... There aren't, for me anyway, since Campbell, Ferdinand, you know, it's it's difficult. They're really, I thought Harry Maguire started okay, and I just don't now see that £80 million for, um, price John tag. Stones. Absolutely throws me away. John Stones, he's fantastic. Who are you going to put next to him? Mm. 
it's well, going to be, it's got, it's got, it's got to be, it's got to be Harry Maguire, isn't enough. it? Of course it is. And, and I and listen, I, I, I don't see. Um, I wouldn't I, say I, I have weak, to say, though. though, I have to say, though, what did cheer me up, and I did giggle my little ass off this morning, was when I finally realised, or when, um, when Gareth Southgate finally realised that um, it was a good idea to um, drop Eric Dyer from the team. Mm. I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Say no more. But I mean, you know, say about no no team uh, can win a major tournament with a weak defence. Well, Brazil managed it in 1970, didn't they? Mm. I wouldn't say England have like the best forward. Or no, the best forward no, I'm, I'm not saying we're I'm not saying we're Brazil. But what I'm saying, uh, would you then go to? Uh, don't start. Don't start. Sixty two. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I see where done. he's coming from. Yeah. It can I, I be done. I mean, do, you know, do you know what, though? I'm not Chelsea, oh, the Chelsea manager's biggest fan, but I think we may have come out of a gem with Rhys James in that back three on the right centre back. I think that could be that that could be a little gem. I don't know whether you've seen him. He's got the speed, can defend better more than Carl Walker, and he can bring across a, 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 a better distributor of the ball. Maybe we could see that. That's how we've done so well playing with that back three. And then you've got the more more added protection. And then you can just tell the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold if he goes. You just There's go too there. many right backs. That's the problem. There's too many quality right backs that someone's got. someone has to get left out. Look at even... People are probably don't really think about Kieran Trippier, but he's been one of the best players in the league this year and they won the league. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. was, isn't he a Southgate guy as well? Southgate, he's one of them. Southgate has his lads, and I'm pretty sure Trippi is one of them. Well, he was probably the best player at the last World Cup in Russia, wasn't he? For England? Yeah. Yeah, that's because Declan Rice didn't play. True, true. So this time, he'll be shielding the back four, don't forget. Which, you know, with a bit of luck, um, I mean, I've, uh, listen, I've got to, I've got to say... Um, I'm not feeling it this year with it with the Euros. I'd love to see us go on and win it. I do think semi-final is is probably where we're going to get to. Um, like Cal said about you know France and, and Alex has said there in the chat there you know they're leaving world class defenders at home, and and here we are calling up players that either got or, or very nearly got you know relegated this season. So um, you know there used yeah, to so be a time when Go on, go on, Andy. Yeah, I've just had a look at the favourites. So obviously, France are favourites at nine to two. England second favourites at five to one. Belgium six to one, and Spain seven to one. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that. Spain, that Spain will not be anywhere near that. Uh, did you see that that thing? Spain have announced their squad the first time ever. There's no Real Madrid players in the squad. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, man, the, that Brighton goalie's in it. Your man who was their fourth yeah. choice goalie at the start of the season is in it. Robert mm. Sanchez. Yeah. yeah. Do you know he can play for England, that kid? Mm. Well, you can't now if he, if he gets a game. Well, if he, well, if he, if he plays, gets a competitive yeah. cat, yeah, no, because he's don't half think, English. I don't think Eng England need a goalie either. <laughs> they, no, they, possibly they, not. They have a few of them. I think that's depressing, though, the fact that Pope's a big doubt because uh, I would have preferred flipping Pope in instead of Little Arms. I think we've got more of a chance with Pope and goal. But what about uh, Henderson? Uh, and Johnson was called up as well. Henderson's not proof. Yeah, I saw me. that. Oh, yeah, I've... there's free friendlies, isn't there, before the tournament proper begins? Oh no, there? I'm just saying, right? If I had to pick my number yeah, one, there I, is. I won't. Yeah. Oh no, I mean Henderson wouldn't get in if it was, you know, if we were going straight into the Euros, he wouldn't be anywhere near it for me. But I think that will be Gareth Southgate's excuse, won't it? Mm. Probably. Right. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's let's answer Jake's question that uh, that Jake uh, put in earlier in the chat. Gacy, over Jake. to you with that one. Jake, Jake, not West Alfie. Sorry, not ignore me. Go on. You have, you've been on the rums again. No, working hard, mate. That's what I've been doing. And my eyes are like this at the minute. It looks <laughs> like I'm looking through metal bars. Go on, then. Would you rather England or Ireland win the, win the well, they're, Euros or they're not, West Ham? They're not, they're not mutually exclusive, exclusive for starters, so I'm going to be a greedy bugger and say that I want both. But 
If you're asking me an either or, then it's West Ham all the way. If you had to pick Gatesy is the answer. If you had is the question. If you had to. So you'd go West Ham, would you? Correct. Cal, over to you. Uh Gatesy actually texted me there and he said if he could choose, he'd actually he'd want Ireland to win the Euros if uh there's any choice from there. But uh uh West West Ham all day. <laughs> international football is an awful time it's an awful waste of time and players get injured and it's just maybe it's just because we're shit but it's it's a waste of my time watching it yeah I'm going to agree with Mark on this one club over country for me Miles are you full ass full ass look at that we're, we're all on an agreement one today so did anyone see the the tweet that was put out yesterday about one of the grounds that Tottenham will be playing or could be playing in is the this Europa one with Conference a steam train? League? No, <laughs> no, no. That was that was a piss take one. No, this is the actual ground. It was put out. It the, behind the goal at one end of the pitch is the is the uh, is the airport for the oh, country. Oh, is that the is that Gibraltar? Or- Georgia or one of those because Ireland was playing there. I think, during, I think uh, so. that, that, uh, what's that Did you hear where the final was uh, going to be held? That was on. Is it Tirana? Um, it's I, is apparently, that right? yeah, I believe it's the Albanian equivalent of Oakwell from what I heard. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Tirana. <laughs> no, I, Ireland played at that uh, airport ground during the um, whatever that competition is. Oh, called, that's, that that's, that's Gibraltar then. That's Gibraltar. Gibraltar, it? yeah. We, yeah, we, they, we were playing at that. It's an awful. There's not even any stands, really. No, you know, they You've got no fans. You've got no grand. You've got no <laughs> fans. <laughs> they were. Yeah, they, 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 they turned around and said, one misplaced Sissoko shot and it's going to shut down a country. <laughs> <laughs> I think all his shots are misplaced. They just say one shot. Listen, you, you learn, if, we have, if we end up having to go there. You don't want Fornells' his, uh, shots because, you know, we take out an astronaut every game. I can't imagine him doing well with aeroplanes right. taking right. off too close to him. Go on, Marzi. Right. So, so I've just had a look. You're right, yeah. So it is in uh, Tirana, yeah. So the four yeah. countries who bidded for it, so that apparently that holds 22,500 fans. So St Etienne in France, I'm 42, they bidded for it. Uh some other flipping random places in North Macedonia and Greece, which owns less, and it gets that. Ah, fucking corrupts your way for fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. I mean, um. I've, 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 yeah, you know, I've, I've got to say, like, I get it. I get that you've got a, you've got to send these these tournaments to the other countries. I get that. You can't just have these these trophies being competed for in the finals, you know, in the, in the final, uh, you know, uh, being in the top five countries, you know, England, Spain, France, Italy, Germany. I know I get that they've got to go elsewhere, but fuck me. Like where was, where was this, where was this weekend's um, Champions League final supposed to be played before? Was it, was, Turkey, was, that, Turkey. was that supposed to be Turkey? Like, yeah. and then you've got, I mean, that ain't too bad in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, you've got games that are the finals that were held in Russia or or elsewhere, um, and you've got two English clubs playing. I mean, it's very likely that you could end up with two English clubs again this season competing in the Europa League final. Hopefully, we're one of them. And all of a sudden, we're having to travel to Albania. You know, and let's be honest, 22,000 22, all-seater stadium or 22,000, you know, stadium, we we can feel that three times over. Yeah, so um, with, with, with Euro- Europa, League, Europa League final is Seville Seville Stadium next next year. That's tomorrow night, isn't it? No, next year. Is that I thought that was I thought it was being played in Tirana, or is that this year? No, that, that's the conference. No, that's next that's year. the third. Oh, is that the conference? Third in... Yeah, we, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> oh well, if we're going to Spain, fuck it, I don't care. But you get, you, know, you see what I mean, though, don't you? Because it could be that we yeah. end up playing no, Spurs could, in the final of the conference. We could end up worrying about it. Yeah, if you come third, you end up in in it. So we've got to think positive. We've got to think positive. We're winning it, guys. Uh, <laughs> Miles, here. we're winning it. Uh, Rob, any uh, anything you want to talk about tonight? Well, 
there's two things that I wanted to bring up, actually. Give first us the was, first one. Well, the first one's this point, because it was confirmed today, and there'd been rumours brewing for a little while, that there is going to be a friendly between West Ham and Celtic at Parkhead. I think it was the 24th of no, July. Friendly. Is that the Betway that, Cup? <laughs> uh, I, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, because that's, that's normally... Well, I don't know. It and could be. I don't, they haven't that. mentioned Mac, it. It's going to be a guaranteed trophy. It's McAvenny's testimonial. Yeah. 30 <laughs> years late, but never mind. But, oh, that man but yeah, that, that was quite a good ball, thing. But, but, the, but the other more important thing, I don't know if you've seen, there's rumours gathering pace that um, Alex Crowell could well be incoming. He's, uh, if you don't know, he's a Czech Republic international, formerly of Slavia Prague, currently of Spartak Moscow, defensive midfield, um, 23 years of age. Um, discuss. Um, what was, see, I've seen a couple of price tags on that, Gacy. What, um, what, what have you heard on, on, on price-wise? Um, I'll be honest with you, I've not heard so much on, on the price front. Miles, he's put his hand up, so he's probably heard something. 14 million euros. Yeah, he's saying, he's saying about 12, 12 million quid, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Not bad for a 23-year-old. No, and you know what? Um, it, I, th I think a lot of this came, Gacy, from the fact that he liked and shared um, the, the post that West Ham actually put out about going on a European tour um, with uh, Rice and all the rest of the boys um, uh, celebrating, I think, after Rice's goal. Um, and he mm. actually liked and then shared it. Whether that, I think that was Instagram. Um, yeah. So a lot of the a lot of the rumours from what I've read have actually spread from the fact that he's done that. And and I read something online earlier um, from from Claret and Hugh that yeah. that's what that there it is. Yeah. So that's yeah, where listen. it came from. So I I would um yeah I, I think it'd be a cracking signing. But again. Um, and again, I think uh, Clarence Hugh touched on it that he's coming in as support for the other two, not as replacement. And they got that in quite early in the story that they put because, you know, again, um, as we touched on with my comments last night about the substitution on Sunday, um, I think they're, they're quick in there to quell any, you know, worries um, that we could be losing one of the others and he's going to be a direct replacement. I don't, I don't fear nothing, to be honest, like I said yesterday. And um, Moyes, Moyes on TalkSport today, if anyone hasn't heard it, uh, yeah, you can go back and listen to it and the way he's talking, how proud he was of the players. And I don't know if everyone else read it, but I uh, well, read it, uh, viewed a video with Four Nails and Rice. Did anyone see that interview on the website? No. Good five minutes, then no. both of them together talk, talking about the game and stuff like that and the way they're confident, the way... Declan's talking about next season. I think that's pretty much cemented it for me. And I, I think he would be a great addition. He's got European experience as well, which yeah. the team lacks. I'm not going to lie. It, it's, it's, it's very, very thin on who, who's actually played there. So I can only see that being a confidence thing. And with these Czech boys, they've been proved. It doesn't matter. that They'll go out and give 110%. And I wouldn't feel worried if, he's, if, he, if he comes onto the pitch to help us out. So I'm feeling all good, gents. Cal, to hear. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say. I've never really, never really heard of him until maybe was it could have been the January window or something. We've been linked with him a few times now. Uh, yeah, if if he's willing to join and not get a not get a hundred percent game time, unless we're going to change up the formation to add a bit more, because what I have seen clips wise of him, he seems like he has a bit of attack and flair to him as well. Like, I know Suchek can go up and score goals, but this lad actually looks like he can play football up there and sort of get around lads. So maybe unless we're going to a three midfield with or two, two in midfield with Dex, Dex sitting, uh, if, if he's willing to come into a team where he's not going to be getting all the game time uh, and he, he's that cheap, I'd, I'd take him every day of the week. Yeah, I, I, again, it's it's difficult because I'm looking at, again, I don't want to go too much into, uh, obviously, into transfers because we're going to look at doing um, a couple of shows uh, over over the summer 
um, based around, you know, like we said last night, Gatesy, didn't we? Diamonds in the rough and, yeah. you know, youngsters that I've, I've, um, I've done a bit of work with on, um, on, uh, Twitter, YouTube and, and, and transfer mark and all that lot. So I don't want to do too much here, but I just, you know, we've, we've got to look at expanding this squad. Um, I saw yeah. something again on Facebook that somebody commented and their, their, their idea was that we, they were releasing eight players and buying nine or selling, you know, getting rid of eight players and signing nine. And I was thinking we already need nine players without selling the nine that you've just suggested. So if you want to get rid of nine players, you've got to look at bringing in, or you want to get rid of eight players, you've got to be looking at getting ready to bring in another 17 players, which, listen, we all know damn well we're not even bringing in nine this season unless he dips his toe in that free transfer market. Because for me, it, it's, the, the money isn't going to go very far once you start looking at players that are capable of pushing that starting 11 out of the window. So, we, like we discussed before, Gatesy, didn't we? Um, if we're going to be signing a player, I want this player to be first team ready and going into the first team. I don't want to be signing someone that's either going to be sitting on the bench or could be ready or could be Premier League or Premier League or Europa League ready in a few months' time. I, I want him ready to step in now. You know, the likes of the way Ollie Watkins walked into Villa and, and did a job last season. You know, I, I don't want someone like, without being rude to, uh, you know, the young Alves fella that we signed, he's one for the future. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting, you know, the ones for the future now. I'm wanting someone that's going to come in and, you know, replace, yeah. if it's a left back, replace Cresswell immediately, you know, because he's, he's, he's better than Cresswell or comes in and replaces Ogbonna or Dawson or, you know, um, Diop replaces, you know, without being rude, and I know it's going to be difficult, but replaces Suchek if we're going to be buying someone in that position. I don't want a future signing. I want someone who's ready now kind of thing. Um, or or, or is, am I just being unrealistic there? Like, well, uh, is I don't, that... this, this, just looking, I'm just looking on uh, his uh, stats in uh, the Russian league. Um, he's not a replacement for Suchek. Absolutely no chance because the guy's 29 games zero goals, five assists. He's, he's more a defensive-minded player. I know that, that Thomas Sochi plays... Rama. Sorry? Replacement for Ben Rama is the same sort of stats, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, you may say that. I could not possibly comment. Um, but no, I mean, he can also play as, def as a central defender. Just looking, he can play defensive mid, he can play central mid, and he can play central defence. So he's quite a versatile player and I I think that David Moyes is going to be trying to get in players with that sort of versatility and not just yeah. get players in that are going to be well I can only play in this position he's going to be getting in guys that are going to be a, capable of playing in two maybe three different positions and this guy fits that that bill so if it, if it comes off I, I think on the face of it it's decent value for money I know that our friend James from the Anvil he put out a tweet about the guy I and mean, he was quite complimentary about Alex Crowell and sort of highlighting the fact that his passing stats were very, very impressive. I know it's in the Russian league. I know maybe it's not quite as competitive and as, you know, as intense and all the rest of it as the Premier League. Um, but, you know, neither, neither is the Czech first division and, and the guys from Slavia Prague have come into West Ham and have, and have absolutely lit it up. So why not? Sorry guys. Sorry, guys, I've got to laugh at this. This is what Spurs has done to a player. Reports in Spain saying Gareth Bale is considering negotiating with Real Madrid to terminate his contract and getting a cut of his salary and then retiring after the Euros. He's fed out of love of football. Look what Spurs has done to the lad. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. How very sad. <laughs> He's fell yeah, out I mean, of with listen, football. He's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna take up being a golfer. <laughs> yeah, listen, he's he's fell out of love of being in you know being being a footballer, earning three hundred grand, sitting on the bench for the first six months of the season, and then you know coming back to Spurs for you know however long it was that you know it's it's ridiculous. It's you know I, I 
you, you couldn't blame him for retiring if he's earned, listen he's earned that money and he's he's you know he's he's done isn't he really grand scheme of things um yeah so i just just quickly um before i go back to uh ken's comment i wasn't um sorry guys you put it up again um i wasn't saying that we we, we should be replacing uh rice or so jake and you're right it is completely unrealistic when you consider the sort of money that we'd need to spend to replace those two. What I'm saying is if we're going to be buying someone to come in and, and as, as Gacy's just pointed out there um, with, with crowd, he can play centre back, you know? So um, if we bring him in as a centre back or we bring him in and we use him as a centre back and then as, as you alluded to there, Rice got injured we can move him forward into a, into that position to replace either Suchek or Rice. And then we've got someone who can come in and be that, you know, that backup centre back, if you will, if we have to move things around. Um, f for me, you, you don't replace Suchek unless you sell him. You don't bring someone in who's going to overstep him into the first team. Um but you need to bring in someone that can play, you know, like um, Kent has said there, multiple positions um, being um, someone that can step in and around. You know, you look at what we did with um, with Arnie and what we've done with uh, Mikel Antonio and what the actual Christ Almighty, seriously, that's his yeah. weekly wage, is it? Yeah, yeah. Tottenham only paying 150 of it. And don't forget, I've, I've, he'll get more for endorsements as well. That's just his his footballing. I've salary. got nothing on that. That ain't that ain't a footballer's salary per week. That really isn't. That's embarrassing. And and that's the state of football well, nowadays. Well, 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 the best the best bit is the talking about the Chinese league. Granciano Pellet was on five hundred grand a week but in Chinese league. Wow. Yeah, listen, I yeah, but I could go out. I could go out to China and do a job and earn that kind of money. Uh, Milesy. That's that really is like they they would take Oscar Oscar well no Tevez went out didn't he and was he earning something like one point three million again euros yeah he was he was like the a most expensive or, it? or the, the highest paid football in the world for at one point wasn't he uh, absolutely embarrassing embarrassing They're like that that that's not a footballer's wage I'm sorry I can't even get behind that that's just throwing. That's throwing a load of money after old tack because let's be fair, he was at the end of his career, wasn't he? Let's not mess around. He's certainly not going to be earning that anywhere else. So why not throw it? You know, why not go to China for a year, earn 1.3 million pound a week or 1.3 million euros a week, just under or just over a million quid? All right, yes, I know what we're going to get. Um, <clears throat> is the 50% tax threshold on you know anyone that earns above? Still half a million quid a year a week, isn't it? Like Christ Almighty, that's a, that's two million oh, pound a month. Oh mate, I, I don't know what I'd do. Don't know what I'd do. Um, what kind of job are you going to do? <laughs> what needs to be done, Fo? What needs to be done? I'll do a job. That's all I'm saying. Um, let's. Uh, all right, let's. I'll take on Ken's comment. Uh, we need eight players of quality. Uh, going to fit the Moyes' philosophy and the way of playing. He's not going to be fixated by price tags and um, you think he'll buy the right players like he did at Everton. He bought the players that could play. Cal, can I have your opinions on uh, Kent's comments here, please? Yeah, I, uh, I agree with that. Uh, I don't... I can't see us getting eight players now. I think we can't go out and do too much because that's, that's, that's what can derail squads if you go out and yeah. buy too many players. Maybe five get five in because we also have a few players coming back from loan as well and a few we also need to transition some young lads into the team who knows if they're good enough but give them a go like five signings is enough we have a good squad there few lads come back from injury few from loan few young lads coming up and uh they all need to fit in in in, in with the sort of the moise way and uh we'll be successful like i'd be happy with some Top top sort of twelve, top eleven, and a good European run. That's that's what I'm sort of aiming for, and I think getting that that many that sort of bunch of players could do it. Gacy, yeah, you your thoughts? Oh, on, hang on, on. sorry, sorry, sorry. Miles sorry. Away, are you? 
<laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm, ju- I'm just getting into my Zippy and George pyjamas, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, I'm anyone enjoying. else concerned that he has uh, them? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I've now conjured up an image in Miles' head that he didn't really need. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, mate. Okay, so he didn't um, really need. You're closing, you're closing the flies on your zippy mouth at the same time, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. No, as I said last night, I mean, if, if, I don't know what the transfer budget is, and we all saw the, the um, story on Claret and Hugh, which we discussed yesterday. Whether you yeah. believe it or not is another matter, and to be honest, I don't. Uh, I think that £85 million is probably on the basis of the board getting what they see as the price they're going to get for the players they want to get rid of, which I don't think is going to happen, quite frankly. No. Um, but be that as it may, as I said yesterday, I think that if there is a manager that is going to maximise the value of any transfer budget that he's given, it's David Moyes. If you look at his time at Everton, you know, he was there for, what, 11 seasons? And can you think of a, any signings that he made that were relative to the time that were like, oh my God, look how much money Everton have spent either on a signing or on a batch of signings or indeed a signing that you looked at as far as the name was concerned and went, oh my goodness, Everton have signed such and such a player. It never, ever happened. A bit like we did with Rodriguez at the start of the season. What, sorry? A bit like we did with Rodriguez when James went to Everton at the start of the season. We kind of sat up and noticed for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Never, I, can think, I can't I can think, think of too of many players. That, I, I think of a few that swing to mind. What are gems? Leighton Baines, Stephen Pienaar. Yeah, but what I'm saying yeah, is yeah, no one, no one, one, saying, one yeah, no, no one at I'm the saying. time went. No one at the time went. Oh my God, Everton signed Leighton Baines. Do you know what I mean? It was like, oh, Everton a bit like we did with Robinho uh, when he went to Man City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like you know, it's like oh, they, Everton have signed a, a fullback from Wigan. You know, that was it. Yeah. You know, no one really gave a monkeys. And it was only over the fullness of time that you looked at Leighton Baines and went, my God, this guy can, his left foot. From Cahill, can a can of beans from, Everton, uh, from, from Millwall to Everton was, again, yeah. another exactly yeah. what you're talking about there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I I think that David Moyes, I, I think, yeah, a fool, a fool and his money are easily parted. David Moyes is not a fool. Um, no. And, you know, and, and I can say this because I've got Scottish in my family. So, you know, they are very, very careful with their money by and large. He will not go splashing money on players that he does not feel is worth it. If he sees a play, if he feels he's getting put over a barrel, he will just go, thanks, but no thanks and move on. And and to be honest with you, I'm for one, I'm fed up of seeing, you know, my season ticket money and everybody else's season ticket money piss down the drain on poor value players. And then who we then so- sell, who we then sell two years or so later at a loss. I'm sick of it. Gatesy for PM. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't afford the wage cut, Milesy. <laughs> no, but- I mean, yeah, I mean, he's right. He's right, Milesy. I mean, if you if you look at like you say, if you look at the players that he bought at Everton, and you look at the the kind of players that, um. Pellegrini, you know, signed when we thought, and, and let's be honest, we all did. We all, we all felt that that was going to be the, possibly the start of something big for us, was it not? We all, we all felt that Pellegrini coming in, you know, the sort of money that he spent when he spent it, we all thought, oh, here we go, here we go. And and, and, and it kind of ended up falling flat, you know? Uh, um, what, what do you think, uh, Miles? Do you think he's going to, you know, yeah. spunk the money, or do you think he's gonna no. he's gonna be clever with it? Um, Moyes made a very good point. So you know what? Um, sorry if I keep going back to the Talksport interview. If anyone who who hasn't, but he, you know what Jim White's like. He tries to freaking get everything out of everyone, and Moyes actually done a really good interview. And the good the, the, the thing what took notice to me, and I was like, yeah, it must be right. He said that he didn't say the owners. He just went, I'm there doing my job and I'm getting everything done. How they're letting me run things. When he said, I'm letting me run things. That's what, that was the highlight for me because it must be, do you know what I mean? It, it, it must be happening. And that's the thing. What, um, 
which I'm very pleased about. And like you, like you said, uh, he's going to get some gems. He's going to get some gems. I, 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 I want to be sitting there going, who the fuck is Joe Bloggs from Thingy? And then turns out to be another Sufa and Suchek. Like, I, I do believe, though, what uh, I can't remember who's – was it Alex who, who said that? The championship has got so much talent. We've, we've yes. done it so many times. And that that's that's what we need what we need to go for as well. And I'm feeling – I, I, I'm, I'm I don't think we can constant. just rely on low-level championship, though. That's that's that's. No, no, that's no, no I, I don't think it will be a reliance, but I think it will be it will be interspersed with players that he'll get it'll from be clever. the continent that you pro- like. Like Malsey said, you know, let's be honest about it. Most West Ham fans, if you'd have stopped them in the street shortly before we were linked with him, shortly before we signed him, and said, "Hey, what do you think about us signing Thomas Socek from Slavia Prague?" Most West Ham fans would have looked at you and gone, "Who?" Who? <laughs> um, and Bo- yeah. Bournemouth, Bo- and just think, Bournemouth have not got a chance getting coming up now. Obviously, they lost. Bournemouth yeah. have got some good players, uh, like Dan Zuma. yeah, exactly. Like it's it's they're not going to be stupid, but just think, how how long has Bournemouth got? Have they got another year of the parachute payment? They got two, they it's three it? years in total after they've been relegated, or three seasons oh, after they've been relegated. Oh, it, and it, it sort of, from what I understand, it tapers down. So what they'll get next season is less than what they got last season. And then the third season, right. it's less still, and then it stops. Yeah. Yeah, no. See, so, Alex, so, so, go on, go on, on Malzi, I'll come back to it. I was, no, I was just no. going to say, Casey, just before we out there, Alex makes a couple of really good points here. You know, Brentford, Brentford have a habit of... Um, you know, getting these players for very little money and then flogging them on for an absolute fortune. Because let's be honest, they can. You know, they 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 they, they held that they held all of all of the strings when it came to what happened with um with Ollie Watkins last year. You know, they they held all the cards. They knew exactly what they were doing with Ollie Watkins, and they could command a fee that they knew to, you know teams would play. Uh, sorry, would pay. Um, and they didn't, I, I, I don't know how much they bought him for, don't get me wrong, but they made a fucking tiny profit on, on a tidy profit on Ollie Watkins. They made a tidy, tidy profit on, on Say Ben Rama. And um, who's the, uh, you guys might know this, um, I read it earlier somewhere. Um, who's the guy who's the, is he the director of football or the technical director down in, in Lille? What, what was his name? Um, it came oh, they were my... talking about him on Talk Sport yesterday when uh, Jim White was in interviewing Jose Fon. With, with all them si- did you see the thing with all the signings they've made? Yeah, that's exactly made. what I saw. Like Christ he Almighty, was with he's, for it. yeah, he's, he's the, the only two the only two teams that have won um, uh, league on in God, whatever it was um, have had him as technical director or, or sport or whatever it is that his title is at that job. Uh, Louis Campos, yeah, director of football. Um, he's made uh, something like uh, 300 million euros in profit on like seven or eight players, including one that he bought for, I think he bought him for 12 million at Monaco and they sold him uh, two years later for like 72 million euros. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know who it was. Um, Get him and, in. And he, was the one, he, he found Mbappe, didn't he? Um, you know, and you're looking at all mm-hmm. of this, you're just thinking... He signed well, Bernardo what? Silva from Man City for £3 That's million, fun. sold him for what? S- signed Fabinho for £2 million, sold him for however yeah. much, 40 50 And let's be honest, here we are, and we had Pellegrini's best mate, who absolutely spent £66 million, £70 million on players, um, and, and we've made a, a, a loss on those players. Let's not dick around. And you've got this guy here in, in, in Lille, let's be fair, who... Are they are they the French equivalent of us? I'd say they're even smaller. Right? So why, why, are we, why, why do we not have this guy... Or, or not even back then I, had I this guy... They, I'd, I'd the say they're the equivalent of West Brom. They won the league 10 years ago and then they're so they've won the league four times. They've won it like 1954, 64, 2011, and 2021. So, like, they've they've spread it out. They were they're oh, they've never really it's been always 10 years between it. Yeah, you know, so I just I just don't that that's and and um, what was it? Fresh Fresh has said it just there that, that that's what we need to be doing now. 
we need to have the same kind of mentality that Bournemouth have, that, that Lille and Monaco had under Campos. Um, we need we, that, that, that there. That needs to be the template. The records that we need to be breaking are what we're going to sell these players for if we choose to. I, I, I would rather see these guys coming in, the youngsters. And again, something we'll do later, Gacy, there's, there's about five or six 17, 18, 19-year-olds that I would like to see us bring in for, you know, a few million quid that, you know what, if it, if it doesn't work out, it's not a massive loss. You look, um, Balbuena, what, what did we buy him for? Was that three million quid? Yeah, about that. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's been with us for X amount of time. Um, is that a huge loss in money, considering how long he's been there? I know we've, we've um, um, I know, you know, we, we've, we've spent the wages, but again, it's not a huge amount of money to lose when you consider that after just, what was it, two years, we let Haller go for... Twenty million pound less. That's, that's twenty million pound down the drain. Whereas three million is, you know, it's, it's a it's a it's throwaway yeah. kind of cash in this sort of industry, isn't it? So um, I just don't. I, I, that's what I'd rather see us doing. I'd rather see us look at, you know, the like these guys have said that um, someone said earlier in the chat. You know, finding finding gold for the price of gravel. Um, and then and then selling it for you know a, an extortionate fee, and then like Fresh has said there, wash, rinse, repeat. You know you just keep keep going to that cycle. Um, Gacy, you probably don't get that lucky every year. That could be the problem. It's not that easy to find them. But you'd only need to get lucky probably once a year, wouldn't you? Or once every two years if you could bring in someone worth you know three million quid, and then maybe in two years' time you're letting them go for. 60 65 million you, you wouldn't have to get wouldn't have to be regular would it do you know what i mean mm. jc your thoughts 100 percent. i mean you know you you look at other other clubs have done it and you've just highlighted leo you know so they they have to be something of a of an inspiration to us, us and if you want one that's a little bit closer to home leicester city and again fo mentioned it there leo are the equivalent of leicester you look at what they've done, uh, you know, since they got promoted. They then won the Premier League two seasons later. They've won the FA Cup this season. They've had two consecutive seasons where they've been fighting for the Champions League positions. And it's only been in the last knockings of a Premier League season that they've slipped out of it. So, you know, are they a team that has a, a massively bigger budget than us? No. Are they a team that has a massively bigger catchment area than us? No. Are they a team that worldwide are bigger than us? No. Yet. Do they have annoying they're... clappers? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. still playing they're... Jose Fonte as centre back. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, they that they've managed to do it for over the last couple of seasons where they've they've brought in players from overseas like Fafana, or they've brought in players from lower down the pecking order like Madison, like James Justin, whoever. And they've managed to sort of like get them playing a brand of football that is Leicester City stamped through it. You know what I mean? And, you know, we we have to try and sort of like use that as an inspiration. You know, it's the old thing, isn't it? If if you want to if you want to sort of like do something, find someone else that's done it first and copy them. Yeah, uh, it's, (laughs) it's, it's, it's so easy to sit here and 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 to talk it. I mean, I can imagine it's a lot more difficult to. Oh to yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't, do, I don't you know? say that it's it's easy, but you know, these clubs prove it can be done with a little bit of planning, with a little bit of organisation, and a, and an element of luck. It has to be said. I mean, you have to have the right people in the right roles at the club, at the, the right organisation time. you're looking to do it. Yeah. And they all have yeah, to come yeah. together and they all have to work in sync and everyone has to buy into it. You need the right but if you get the right well. people in, if you get the right people in, it can be done. Get you know, well, but it will help from my friends. <laughs> Cal, Cal's just nailed it there, though. You've got to have the right owners that are willing to support that. Um, Leicester probably that have the best owners. Dynamic. Well. Oh, that, 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 that is, I mean, yeah, that I do agree. Outstanding no, owners, they really are because they've not only just. I mean, I was talking to a, a, a gentleman that comes into my pub, 
um, and we were talking about this the other day, and it's not just what they've done for for Leicester City Football Club, it's what they've actually done for, for Leicester as a whole, as in it's, you know, the town, the city, the, the, the community. They, they've spent so much money on rebuilding Leicester as a whole, um, not just the football club. That it's, um, oh, where's he gone? I was about to bring him in. Um, there it is. Um, the, you know, it's insane the, the, the kind of um, what, the, what they've actually done for the whole community. And you can understand why there was such a, a, an outpouring of grief um, after that helicopter went down, you know, well, when, when the owner passed I don't away. Know, I don't know if you know, because I did send you a voice note last week, but I, I didn't get a response to it. So I don't know whether you listened to it or not. Um, but I was listening to LBC in the morning with Nick Ferrari. And they were, he, he's a Leicester City fan. And they were sort of, they was talking about Leicester City just after they'd won the FA Cup. And they were mentioning that Leicester City actually send their own football coaches into the local schools to teach the young kids how to play football. And I, do you know what I sat there and thought? I'm like, do we do that? Because if we do, I don't know about it. And I know that sort of like people that are sort of like long standing supporters that lived in the local area growing up in the 60s, the 70s, mentioned about, oh, yeah, yeah. Then we had sort of like Trevor Brooking that came into my school and, and um, Ronnie Boyce and people like that. And they teach us, you know, little little bits and pieces at school. And you don't ever hear, not that, I, that I'm aware of any sort of like whether it's coaches from the from the club, players from the club or whatever going into local schools in the Newham Borough or a little bit further afield out into Essex or wherever and making that connection with young children who at that young age are sort of like, oh, do I support Manchester City? Um, do I support Liverpool? Do I support Arsenal? Do I support... Uh, you imagine that, you know, you get a coach of a football club or a player even going into a local school and making that connection with a kid who is the fan of tomorrow. You know, yeah. this is, you know, we need to be sort of like sowing the seeds, you know, and, and getting, you know, the kids, you know, no, don't support Manchester City. You're never going to see them. They're sort of like 200 miles away in the north. What are you doing? Support your local club, for God's sakes. No, I did just just going back to that one, mate. So I did. Uh, okay, so I did ask the question, um, and, and nothing's come back to me yet. I don't even think my message has been read. So um, that's why I haven't had an answer for you. Um, so would it be easier um, though in Leicester doing that because Leicester's like a one football team city, is uh, unless I just possible. don't know about the other teams around there. Like London's so multicultural, and there's so many different teams. You, like Leicester is sort of a one team area. In, within there, they could just go around it and sort of it, it, it would it might help a bit more. Well, they they could, but but it doesn't seem to me, and I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to me that we're even trying. No, I, I've not heard anything about it. I think I think that's I think that's the point, though, Gates, isn't it? Is that it doesn't even have to be um, that far afield. It could just be your going out to your local areas more than more than anything like you say um you haven't got to go too far afield even you know i mean in these days uh, i think beckham started it didn't he over at, um over at the o2 when he had his you know the, the beckham yeah my kids tent, went there if you will. um yeah. yeah my my nephew went um and he was there on uh, one occasion two occasions i think and you know but you you do have the the, the likes of Jack Collison, who do a lot of work in, you know, the community with his own soccer schools and everything, sorry, football schools, soccer schools, um, that they, um, you know, he goes out and he does a lot of that, um, which obviously does bring a, does bring a, a, a some degree of, you know, uh, credit to our club because obviously of who he is and, you know, Obviously, he promotes West Ham as part of that because obviously that's you know he, he's a West Ham boy. But yeah, I, I, I don't see why I don't see why it wouldn't be a thing. Uh, maybe because back then um, the players probably got paid extra gatesy. You know they don't need to anymore. You know you know you look at the likes of Brooking going out and and picking up you know 
a few extra. But also, he's a local lad as well. Do that. He yeah, went, he went yeah, to yeah. them schools. You don't have that now. You like, what's a lad who who comes from a foreign country going to say? Oh, I know about that school. I had friends who went there. I had family who went there. That's where no like connection. the team was built off local lads back then. So uh, they were going around. Could have had their cousins in the school. Could have their nephews and all in the school. Yeah, like there's more stuff to it when it's local. Paige, if you're if you're still about, buddy, get back in the green room. Let's get you on. Um, Hour of West Ham random. West Ham random. Um, Andy, before we do, uh, if if Peach doesn't get back into the green room and we do sign this off, is there anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to talk about? Anything that you've oh. seen in the news or anything? Well, yeah, I sort of gave a bit of highlights. It was Moise's uh, Talksport interview, and um, I, I like what we were saying about the summer and everything. I don't even think Moise is probably going to have a week in flipping Skegness or Butlins probably, and then he's going to flipping be back up back in the Chavali, looking at these players and stuff like that. And the man just doesn't stop. And I'm um, uh, like, like I, when he left the first time, I didn't want him to go. I didn't want Pellegrini. I'm not going to lie. I thought he deserved his chance, and I'm, I'm very happy for him. And I, I just, it, it's just nice that even other clubs. I know talks what you can't guarantee what the other comments were saying, but other clubs, an Arsenal fan was saying how jealous he is of the way David Moyes has run his team compared to what Arteta was. I don't know whether he was actually taking the piss or not, but other clubs, other clubs are, are taking notice of us now, if that makes sense. We're not the laughing no stock. The piss with that. But we're not a laughing stock no more, are we? We're not the, the clowns. Do you know what I mean? We're we're doing all the answers on. Yeah, the still are, but yeah. Not, not when you <laughs> yeah. not when you've a strong not when you've a strong willed manager who will stand up for what he knows is right and has like a, a really strong work ethic and he, he 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 his thing is based off just working, just bloody run, just do your job. It's very well, system first, based. He's not relying on things and that's the first and thing. When you done, have someone like that, we won't be a laughing stock when we have someone like that. The first thing he'd done was when it was to do with the sprints, he's got us working. And that's and, and, and on Four Nails and Rice's interview as well, they said exactly the same thing. They said, like, N- Pierce, Nevin, Ke- Kevin Nolan, what they do behind the scenes, no one knows. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be on the wrong... Imagine when we're playing shit and you've got to walk into a room with Stuart Pierce, Alan Irvine and Kevin Nolan. I, I, I know where I'd rather fucking be. Don't know about any of you boys. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to say that if uh, um, I know I keep saying it, if anyone who hasn't, literally go on the Talksport. Did you um, watch a Talksport or listen to a Talksport thing earlier, Andy? Is that oh, did I miss that earlier? Yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. Okay, you link. got it. You've already sent it once. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I think you watched or listened to a YouTube, uh, you know, um, talk Talksport thing. I'm not sure. Peach, get in the green room, man. Get in the green room. <laughs> um Al, anything from you anything you want to talk about anything you want to bring up yeah i uh, seen this really rare uh david moyes interview on talk sport if anyone hasn't seen it so uh, i'd like to talk with that i ah, know I, I i don't i don't have anything to talk with really i'd i, I don't have anything oh, i see that like you've upset him now he's gone now <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've spent. I've watched seven episodes of Fargo today. I don't have much else to talk about. Uh, Gacy, anything from you? Because obviously, like again, it's you know we're at that point now where pretty much all we're going to have to talk about and, and anything else is going to be you know possible transfer signings and anything else. So, and I don't want to cover. I don't want to do that. You know, I want to try and dedicate a show to that at some point. Um, yeah. You and, know. But- and um and guys, it's not gonna. We, we'll make the announcement. We've got a really good, important shows coming up in the next week or so. So watch this space. Yes, um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. I am. We're gonna have some fun. We'll um keep an eye on the Twitter page, the Facebook page, um, the Instagram page when I can be bothered to post on it. If I'm honest with you. Um, we're, we're going to be uh, asking you guys for your opinions, asking you guys for um, to vote on a few things uh, over the over probably the coming seven days, um, maybe less than that, four days, um, and we're going to get a show out to you 
Uh, don't really want to rush it, but we want to try and get it done while the, the feeling of the season um, is still there. Um, Gacy, anything more you want to bring up, Squire? Well, the only thing that I want to say is that the what the most important signing that, in my opinion, the club needs to make is David Moyes. He's got one year left on his contract, from what I believe. Well, no, it runs out in me, the summer. Sorry, at the minute it runs out in the I, summer. No, the I thought. I thought if he got 13th place in the Premier League, which he obviously oh, okay. did, he got a one-year oh, okay. extension. It's not official. Yeah, it's not official. But I've heard... Yeah. I've heard he, he said the three-year deal when they reckon it'll be announced in the next seven days. Yeah, well, that's that's what I'm hoping. Because if, if we start next season and David Moy still only has that 12-month to run, for me, that is an absolute dereliction of duty on the part of the ownership of the club, you know, because this is a guy that has got us to within a few points of a Champions League position. He's broken records for points. He's broken records for wins. He's got our joint best ever goal difference in the Premier League era. Um, he's got us to our third best league position of all time. And if you're telling me that he's going to start next season with only 12 months left on his deal, I'm not being funny. But, I mean, this is a guy that showed in his time at Everton that he has a long-term plan. It's not just about what's going to, you know, what he's planned for this season. He has a plan for next season and the season after. This is a guy that, you know, he can, you know, he can see a plan going forwards and he can navigate his way through, you know, even on a tight budget. So, this is the man that we need to be nailing down on the deal. Forget Jesse Lingard, forget any, you know, Alex Crow, to forget any player that, you know, we could sub potentially sign in this, in the upcoming transfer window. The most important signing we need to make right now as a club is David Moyes, bar none. Boom. No, I don't, I don't think I can disagree with you there, mate. I really do. I think that he is the key to anything that we're going to be doing uh, going forward. Right. He's finally joined us, boys. Only, you know, only after twice of me asking. There you are. I see you. Come on in. We're all going on a European tour. A European tour. A European tour. We're all going on a European tour. Get your hair cut. Bitch. Man, you guys are the best, man. You guys are the best, man. He's going to put No, that was content right there, man. Straight up. I didn't even play with y'all, man. That was content right there. That was dope. You going for the Nadal look, Peach? Come again, Marzi? You going for the Rafa Nadal look today? Yo, differently, I was thinking about, like, the rock, the, the Federal look, but then I was like, <laughs> should I change it up like, and go on the uh, Nadal look? Yeah. Yo. Peach, have you ever Yo, played bro. tennis in your life? I did, actually. Like, did you? Did you? I yeah, in your place, Casey. In your place. I'm not talking Brandon. table tennis. No, I, yo, I'm, I'm, I'll burn all of you at table tennis. But like, <laughs> yo, I know I'll burn all of you at table tennis. But like, yo, when we lived, like, um, when we first moved to Oakville, there was this tennis club, and like, I used to like smack the ball with the racket, like on the the, the wall there, and then. I went into the court and I was shit. I was absolutely garbage, man. Like so, I I played tennis, but I wasn't any good. Straight up. Oh dear, you could you could have been the next Roger Federer, but in, instead, no, I couldn't. More have. Like... No, I couldn't have. I would have been like John McEnroe, but without any skill. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up, man. I, yo, he could have. He could have been the next job. He could have been the next John McEnroe. Instead, he was Ronald McDonald. Yeah, like, I would have given that, but that's not what I given. Like, I would have had no skill. You know what I mean? But how's everybody <laughs> doing today, man? Yeah, man. All good. Yeah, all good, yeah. buddy. Yourself? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Just, like, it's humid down here, man. It's, like, I don't know. We complain about cold weather, and then we complain about, like, hot weather. Like, it. Uh, no, no. I, I just think that's that's everywhere, Pete. We do that here as well. It's that, that's you know that's I mean? you know, it's too cold, it's too hot. There's nothing in between, is there? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like you know, it's like it's too cold and then it's too hot and it's like ah, rubbish, man. 
Rubbish. Yo, what is what yo? So what what's the time there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Y'all have had dinner. Duke, what did you have for dinner, dog? I saw your I saw your <laughs> thing. I saw your thing on Twitter. Um the fish and chip thing and then the next thing, dollar dope. Oh, what the the, the pub uh, the pub food? Yeah, yeah it's we, yeah. We, yeah. we started yeah. using a bit more uh, promotional stuff, Pete. So I've, I've got to you know oh, try and get more people. Do you do you do, do you do like a uh, 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 um a steak and kidney pie, like a uh, 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 st- like like a steak and Guinness pie, like you do some of that. We thing? do a steak and owl pie. Oh, boom! That's what I'm having when I come to your place, though. That's what I'm having. I, How do I you, can personally you recommend it, Peach. It's very nice. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Out of out of one to ten, Gates, what would you rate it? Twelve. I love it. That's what I'm having. That's what I'm having. <laughs> it's not bad. I've had it. I quite like it as well. I have to say. So, Peach, give me, yeah. give me. Uh, well, you, anything you want to talk about, West Ham? I want to talk about Forge from Iron. I don't want to talk about West Ham. Season's done, finished, closed. Yo, we're in Europe. I want to talk about Forge from Iron. Like, are we, are we gonna like, are we, are we gonna bless people with like some European Cup things? Like, what's what's quarreling? Let me know. Well, to be honest with you, Peach, we've we've got a few things lined up. So we've I got um. So. Yep. We're going to be doing a we're going to be doing a special show, uh, hopefully um, at the back end of uh, this week, maybe the start of next. Um, yep. In fact, it may well. I'll, I'll speak to the boys after this. It may well. It may well take place at the beginning of next week in replacement of of this show, possibly mm. just because it. We need to try and find somewhere where it fits in where it's not. I'm, I'm not going to be called out to to go and work because I, I really want to be part of this uh, this show that yep. we're putting together. So yep. keep keep an eye on that and keep an eye on Twitter and Facebook. We've got oh, a few um, transfer rumour shows coming up. Some um, We're doing a bit of work at the minute behind the scenes with um, okay. with uh, James uh, from the Anvil and, uh, and yeah. hopefully uh, West Ham Online will join us. Um, I have, uh, I've put out a few feeders for a couple of... Um, Shall we say a couple of scouts to uh, uh, get in contact with me and, and Gacy uh, on the channel? So hopefully we'll we'll get some great content out content out for that. And then during the Euro speech, just for you, we're going to be doing some England bits and pieces, previews, post match mm-hmm. shows for England um, during the Euros. Hopefully, including you know a, a victory in the final. What what what's your what's what sorry to take it off England and everything you said there was amazing and I'm looking forward to every minute and second and morsel of it. But what's your what's your thoughts on like our link with um Armstrong from Blackburn? If, 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 if I'm honest, I've I've not seen so much of him. I've got to say I don't know whether the other boys no, have, no. have got yeah, an okay. opinion on this. I've I've not super seen too much of him. If I'm honest, I was more concentrated on what we were doing um, in, yeah. in in the, in the Premier League and, and the games yeah. we were playing, rather than worrying about you know watching the likes of you know Ivan Tony and, and, and yeah. Armstrong that we've been linked with. So unless one of the other boys have, have, have got you know a comment on one of those two, well, I'm just I'm just going to pull this um, up from Mark. We've we've already got I've already floated this idea, haven't I, Duke? You have, and I'm looking forward to getting something solid in place that we can uh, we can actually get that sorted and put out to these guys, uh, um, um, you know, on the channel. Yeah, what we could do as well is I know I'm sorry if if you may have all discussed this. So what we'll do is we'll do like a prize, not not nothing too fancy, and do like. I don't know, like thirty percent, forty percent go to Ida or something like that as well. Do you know, like money of the pot as well. Just oh, an idea. 100, 100, we'll do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm all behind that. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, we've um, we as, as, uh, I don't want this to come across as cheesy or, or or sounding, you know, ungenuine, but me, me, me and Gacy, and and through extension of that, you know, Cal, Andy, you know, Peach, yourself as well. Um, we wouldn't be here doing this if it wasn't for the guys that that 
follow the YouTube channel and subscribe, watch the videos. You know, there's, there's 12 of you out there currently watching this and, you know, the, the guys that follow us on Twitter, etc. I think we're at 360 or 359 now. As, 360. Uh, as, 360. There we go. So it's you know. That's awesome, man. With with this, I had I had to play Judge Dredd, didn't I, the other day with someone on on the Facebook group? Yes. Yeah. 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 I am the law. Drop 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 the band hammer. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, listen. He didn't read the rules of the group. He didn't read the rules of the group. He admitted that he he he'd um, transgressed. So he was gone. He He did shit. Um, and, and I wasn't actually, that wasn't what, what bothered me. If he'd have said we were shit, uh, but he was a subscriber, I'd have gone, that's Who absolutely that? fine. Who but it's on, the, it's on the rules of the group that says, you know, if you join this Facebook group, you've got to subscribe to the to the YouTube channel. And he freely admitted he didn't. So I said, there you enough. Bye bye. Who said that? Who said that, Gatesy? Uh, I'm not even going to give him, I'm not even going to give him some the random, yo, yo, you know, yo, some, yo, some, he's all wank. He's all some wank. ex, he was somewhat ex member. member. What do you mean, man? Stay yeah, up for some ex team, member man. of the Facebook Stay group. Up, man. What a dickhead, man. Yo, I, I could call him like worse things, but I don't, I want to be like, you know, respectful to you two. Trust me. But yo, nah, yo listen, no, listen, no, no, I said, Pete. We, if it wasn't if it wasn't for the three six one now, as Fresh has now pointed out, if it wasn't for the three six one, we'd be sitting here talking to no one. We'd be sitting here talking to no one. Um, you guys, you guys make it. Well, again, I don't want it to sound ungenuine. And I don't want it to sound cheesy either. But if it wasn't for you guys watching and making the comments in the chat and watching the videos. You know, the the live stuff we do, the other stuff we do. You would not know no each other. No, and the, yeah, yeah, you know what? There's, there'd be no point in me, Gacy, sitting here talking to uh, you know just a camera with no bastard watching. So, no, it's, no, it's, it's, I, I remember, I remember coming on that right. show. It was, I remember it was the Leeds preview game at home, yeah. and you had twenty four yeah. subscribers. Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, yeah. and and you know, you know what's, what's nuts? You, you know what's nuts? I'm in Canada. And I got like, watch, look, I got an Elmo t-shirt on that I bought at Primark, dog, straight up, Primark, dog. And it's like, yo, man, but I'll show you, man, in Basingstoke, in the Basingstoke, Stoke, like, um, town center, I bought this, like, Elmo shirt in Primark, dog. But it's like, yo, you know what's messed up? It's like, throughout these YouTube channels, like, I got Duke, I'm on WhatsApp. I got Mozzie, I'm on WhatsApp. I got Kaza, I'm on WhatsApp. I got Gatesy, I'm on WhatsApp. And it's like, we're friends. Like, it's it's mad. It's like, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like, this YouTube thing has brought us all together, man. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it, man. It was, a, it was definitely a bit of a savior. It was definitely a bit of a savior for me because I was, I was there... You know, kind of trapped it, and 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 the whole pandemic did it for a lot of people. You know, kind of being trapped yeah. in your own head. I couldn't work, obviously, doing what I do for a living. Um, and and I you're, have to you're say in a good that, space um, now, though, Duke. Duke, you're in a good space that? right now, and you look yeah. you look really healthy. Like I know you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off, like Pablo Farnell is like in the restaurant and a bar. It, it would you it wouldn't be a Ford though. show without healthy, Peach hit on Duke. I think, I think yeah. there's a little a romance there brewing on the side. <laughs> Listen, Cal, if he wants to, I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I, I've been hit on by worse. Let's put it that way. I've been hit on by worse than, than, than someone like Pete. So I, I will do <clears> that all day long. Excuse me. Um, but no, I mean, you know, huge thanks to, you know, the likes of, you know, um, all, all the other YouTube channels out there. It, for me, it started yeah. with uh, Gio and Gonzo on Hammers Chat, and yeah. and it extended to you know near enough every single other West Ham channel that I now seem to do, you know pick up a, a, a notification near enough every day of the week comes through on my phone, and I find myself you know headset in yeah. while I'm working, phone in my back pocket, just listening to what's being said, just because it's um it's it's something else. That's Andy's baby, that one. That's Andy's baby, hammer time of our lives. Boom. And I'll tell you what, was, I was gutted last week when I missed that one. I absolutely love doing that show. It brings back so many Have you watched memories. it yet? Have you watched it yet? 
I've, again, I've had it in my back pocket listening to it on the uh, on the headset while I've been pottering around at work and stuff. And I do. I, Milesy I go back puts in work, dog. Milesy puts in work, dog. I don't business, man. Milesy puts in work, man. And like, yo, you need to wear that St. George cap like more often, dog. Like, say, dog, you need to wear cap? that St. George cap more often, dog. I love that. I love that, man. April 23rd things, dog. How do you mean? I feel like I'm being cheated on. He's now flirting with Milesy. What is this about? I, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, now, Gatesy, now, Gatesy, it's your turn. <laughs> hippo, hippo, I'm a happily hippo, 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 hippo. married man. <laughs> and Cahill yeah, needs to start you alone. his own YouTube channel. Say up, Cahill needs to start his own YouTube channel, dog. Yo, that shit will blow off. I ain't playing. I can't. I can't. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't need to got, be doing that. I've got a place here. Own, I've got a yes channel. Do. <laughs> yes, got you do. Here. yes, you do. Yes, you do. He has a home thing, with us. You're big. I think he's what he's you're saying. Big, man. <laughs> so, Peach, drop a plug yeah. for your new show. Oh, my new show. You have a new show, Peach. What's this? I, I, I'm, 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 I a guest, I'm, I'm a guest. Show. I'm a guest from Forest from Iron. That's my new show, dog. I'm a guest from Forest from Iron. Straight up, big up Duke, big up Gatesy, big up Miles, big up Cahill. That's my plug, dog. How you mean, man? Straight up, man. <laughs> I love having you on. I do. I, I can't help it. I think, and everyone watching. That, I think loves having you coming on these shows, Peach, because you are just, just everything. That's all I've got. You are brilliant. <laughs> I, I, I love having you on here. I'm Rafael Nadal today, man. I'm Rafael Nadal today, man. <laughs> You're something today. I'm not quite sure if it's Rafael Nadal, but you are something today. <laughs> Dude. Yes, dear. Yeah. Did you send Titch or Hammers Fans United? Did you send them it's, a... It's in the chat. Um, it was at the start of the chat. Yeah, let, let me... Oh, sure oh it's, big it's... up Hammers Fans United. That's my boy, man. There you Yo, go, dude. That's my boy, man. I love that. Crack on man. with that. Up, jump in. Anyone want right, to jump in? We're going to go for about another guys. 10, 15 minutes. Let's, uh, let's get any more in. I've already, we got, we got I've already received come the text message. Come on, come on. We're all one busy. family. So, well, you fancy it? Chris, jumping on? Come on. That's what I love. Come We're on. all one family. It's like there ain't no like, there ain't no bullshit. There ain't no like, 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 like hate. Like I see some hammers like, yo, YouTube things and like, man, the man just want to hate on one another. We don't do that. Like, let them do that. We don't do that. We love one another, man. We're one family. Man. Straight up, man. <laughs> No, but I hate that. When I when I go on a West Ham fan like YouTube channel and I see like Man of Man downing this channel, I'm like, not this channel, sorry, but like Man of Man downing a, a West Ham channel. I'm like, like why, why, like, and I see that, and I'm not calling out no names because I don't want to give them any fame. But it's like I see them do that. Channel, I'm like. Like, oh, why? there's a man then. What? What? There's a man then. There's a man then. In your place. But it's like, I see them on that. Oh, there's some feedback from about 20 minutes ago. I, I think that might be you, Titch. I'm not sure. Nah, Have you got man. a set of earphones? Yeah, one set. I thought we might be having a, a feedback from... Might have no, watching it on YouTube, Stanley. That was right. That was right. For the second tab, he opened with it on. Yeah, one second. I thought he might be having a... It sounds like the carnival. I don't think it's me. Who's got that channel? Do you have the tab open? Because you're on the stream yard. Do you have the YouTube tab still open there? Yeah, turn YouTube off. Turn YouTube off, Tiggs. I think you've still got that running. One sec. Hold on. Let me turn it off. Hold on. Titch, you yes. darn darn. What are you dealing with, dog? You just sounded like carnival things, man. Like, is that better? That's, that's better, yeah, mate. Yeah, You're all good. Was, was, you lot are the professionals. I had YouTube. Yeah, it was still on. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw your stream last night, back. by the way, with, with Fever. Yeah, I was it like, was you know what? So basically, I tried to do a live stream off my phone on StreamYard. Yep. And Fever's 
It wouldn't let me. Basically, because on iPhone, you have to use um, Safari. And on right. Android, you can use um, Google Chrome right. or whatever. So yeah. I thought, let yeah. me try it on the Chromebook, which is what I'm using now. And it worked. So I was like, oh, it's working. So, yeah, that was like... I'm sitting there in my dressing gown. And yeah, like I was, was going to say I saw you in your dressing gown, looking <laughs> looking very um very chilled, very porn starish. Yeah, like, I don't know. What <laughs> that was not planned. I was just trying to see whether it worked, and it worked. And obviously, yeah. So yeah. You Yo, know, exactly. You know, you know what you were looking like, dog. What's that? You were looking a bit posh, a bit posh. posh. You have Sally David Hockenstead. Sullivan calling him for a movie Hockenstead. next. You were looking a bit posh, like, trust me, dog. Posh pajamas. How are you guys anyway? Dino. Everybody good? Dino. Yeah, sweet as, mate. Sweet as. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good show. I've enjoyed this one. There's been some um, some good good conversations. Um, anything you want to talk about, Sitch? Anything that you've seen in the news? Anything that's been brought up? Anything that you've kind of caught? Glimpses of on social media or anything? Um, I don't like. I said I don't really do social media. Um, I'm trying to think. I was just watching. Um, um, what's the guy that's normally on here? Jazz was on someone's show just now, so I was watching them talk about their ratings and. Oh, big up, Jazz. What? What? Do you know Jazz from? He's on here, isn't it? Normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was, was on. on um, he was on. Was he on with Family Hammer Falls? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they was doing the um, player ratings for the season, and they gave they gave Ben Rama a seven, but they also gave Fornells a seven. Which for me, Fornells, I think Fornells does a lot of stuff that goes unnoticed. He wins the ball back yeah. for us in the final third a lot. So yeah. I think some people miss what he does to the naked eye, and they say was saying like, "Oh, he needs to score more goals." So they gave him a seven. And Ben Rama seven for the whole season, like no, yeah, that makes way. no sense. No way, no, no, no sense. No way. That's so you can't you can't give a guy what what did um, four nails got? He got five goals. I don't even was it that, that that's that's yeah. what Jazz is saying. He's got to score more goals. I'm thinking, you know what? He he brings a lot to the team, man. Like yeah, he brings a, brings a lot more man. to the team. Just goals listen, to it's, the team. yeah, man. It's, 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 it's everybody's he opinion. And everybody's got their it. own. Everybody's got their own opinion on it, but I mean, I would say that for now, as I would say, is a solid seven point five. I think Ben Rama, oh, you know, with regret, is a eight, six. Man. He's a six, yeah. yeah I thought, yeah, Ben Rama. They yeah, gave Bowen. They gave what Bowen you, a what, seven. What would you put? What would you put Lingard at, Titch? They gave him a nine. I would. Um, if you if you balance it out as a whole, it's probably an eight. Yeah. It's not. It's an eight. Yeah, I'd say so. The first two thirds of he was like on fire, and then the next was kind of he, he was decent. So I think he balanced out to about an eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think too many people, personally, and again, in my humble opinion, um, oh, I think people people tend to get carried away when doing um, you know player ratings. Not necessarily after game ratings. I just think on a season that we've had where it's been such a um, such a bang on successful season and had such a great, uh, it's had such a feel good to it. People can get carried away with, um, you know, with, with certain, you know, certain players or certain ratings. Um, if you were to sit there and actually give it some serious thought, I mean, for me, as, as yeah. fresh as in there, um, you know, for now has been, a, a fantastic player this season for me, but he's, he's worked. Mental. He's worked hard on, yes. you know, becoming stronger on the ball and being stronger when it comes to winning that ball back. So he's done a lot of work behind the scenes to become um, a Premier League player, a, the, the, a Premier League player, but not just the kind of player that we saw that we bought him for in the Euros. You know, the the, yeah. the, the under twenty one Euros where he was this absolute. Just banging talent that looked yeah, absolutely yeah, outstanding. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we're all wondering where that player's gone. I'm not being funny. That sort of player was what we saw in Ben Rama at Brentford. Let's not mess yes, around. Yeah, some yeah, some player yeah. that has you know this this naked raw talent that is um, you know has assists and and goals in him. And you saw that before now. in the Under 21 Championship. Um, yeah. But what you saw from Fornells this season was. As you said, there, teacher, a lot more of dirty work. 
he was coming back yeah. and dropping deeper to win the ball back. He was helping. He was helping the likes of of Suchek and and Rice, but also um, Cresswell at left back. He was he was yeah. protecting him a lot more. Where yes. we weren't getting that with Ben Rama. And as Gacy said, we didn't buy Ben Rama as a defender. We bought him as a twenty odd million pound attacking player. But then that we goal, did that, that with goal, the same yeah. with Fornells. Yeah. We did that with Fornells, and Fornells has chipped in with goals this season alongside the dirty defensive work. If we can get the same sort of thing out of Ben Rama, my word, what a player we've got on our hands going forward. What, ben Rama looks outstanding. What, yeah. what, what a player, what a player. But Duke and Titch and everybody else in the conversation, what's your rating for the almighty Mr. Vladimir Soufal? Nine. Nine, easy. Yeah, I was going to say he's, 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 he wasn't perfect. He had a, he had a few a, f- a few ropey uh, moments in certain games, which certainly dropped his um certainly you dropped that rating down from a ten. But I'd give him a nine. Miles, he, you look like you're happy. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Yeah, he's he's like yeah, but I think a nine. Like you said, we can get carried away, but he made a lot of the Sky Sports um, pundits team of the year. I think I looked on Sky Sports the other day and it was like, I don't know, seven or eight of them. And, and he got into like five or six of their teams. And yeah, Don yeah. Goodman, Don Goodman was the last one on the list. And he put Rice and Sufal in there. So that was, he was only with, with two um, West Ham players in there. No, one, 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 100. Now, like, what's everybody's rating of the one, the only Mosiah, David Moyes, man? I got a. I'll give him what ah, I'll give him a nine because of some of the you games. Were gonna give him attention, you were no, gonna no, give him attention, though. You were gonna give him a ten, Doc. You know I've why? The reason why I give him a nine is because some of the games like Liverpool, Man United, we had like an inferior yeah. inferiority complex and we kind of just let ourselves down. So there were certain Agreed. games that yeah. it didn't yeah. make Agreed. sense to line up on that. Other than that, I mean yeah. he, he on a on a limited budget and, and 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 transfers, he's done an amazing job. But like I said, there was a few games that I feel we went there too defensively with the let's let's not lose attitude and and Four yeah hundred. so nine yeah. nine One. nine and a half even maybe that's what I was gonna say nine and a half I give him a nine and a half what yeah. about you what about, you what about you Duke yeah listen I, I I'm gonna go is it, for me it borders between nine and nine and a half again for exactly yeah. the same reason Sid was just saying there. You know, that inferiority complex of going up to the, you know, like the places like Old Trafford and, you know, kind of kind of trying to... You look at you look at how we played against Man United um, at the London Stadium when the ball ended up, you know, at the Westfield Shopping yeah. Centre before it came back on the pitch. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we set up in a different way. But it, for me, he loses half a point on that. And like I say, it borders between a nine and a nine and a half because I just think him being... Um, him being stubborn... In January, um, kind of cost us a few more goals for the possibility yeah. of pushing, you know, the draws into into victories and those those odd goal losses um, against Everton. If we'd had uh, an extra striker that had been bought in, be it someone on loan, be it someone off of the free yeah. transfer market that could have picked us up a couple of extra points here or there. So, uh, no, no, no. like I say, he loses he loses half a point for his stubbornness there as well of being. You know, kind of pig-headed, knowing that we've really only got one fit striker that could yeah. have really cost us, you know, a little bit more. Thankfully, it didn't, but it, it could have cost us more. Can I play devil's miles, advocate? 100 miles and running. David Moyes was squaring him. What's your nine, rating, Mark? What's your nine. rating? Nine. Yeah? Yeah? Nine. Why not nine and a half? <laughs> As he's rating. <laughs> because, because, because it's not just Moyes. If we're rating Moyes on his back, I'll give him a 10. Yeah, 100%. Can I just no, play that with you? Yo, tr- trust me, man. Trust me, man. The backroom staff has been, like, excuse my language, but they've been fucking quality, man. Like, yo, man, Chicken Man and, like, Naveen and Irvine and, and Stuart Pierce, like, yo, Yo, they've been mad. They've been mad, man. So, no, I agree with you, Mazi. Like, yo. Casey, what are you saying, dog? What are you saying? Moise, rating. Oh, Gacy's off. 
Duke. Sorry, mate. Sorry, I've did, I thought oh. you were talking to someone else. Sorry, I do apologise. Who else is oh, called no, Gacy? You're, 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 no, uh, Patrick, listen, you, I'm, no, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, chin, I'm chilling you out. I'm zoned out. I'm in, I'm in my Zippy and George pyjamas. Well, I'm in my Zippy and George pyjamas and I'm chilly. Okay, I wasn't fully paying attention. Forgive me. Um... Nine point five. Nine point five. I mean, I know, I know what you're saying, Titch, and yes, it, it, those games did frustrate the, the living daylights out of me. I, I was especially pissed off after the, the home game against Liverpool and the away game against Manchester United because it, it just, yeah, I, I, it was like, oh, for goodness' sake, can we just try and even if we lose, but at least try and meet them on the front foot. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, there's not a manager that could, that has ever gone through a 38 game Premier League season and you've not been able to be critical of individual performances, individual tactics, individual oh, matches, even know. managers yeah. that have won Premier yeah. League titles. Yeah. So, you know, David Moyes, you know, when you step back and you go and you go, okay, but he took a team in the space of 12 months from a relegation certainties to European contenders and at one point pushing for a Champions League spot. So, it's like well, what what more could what more could he have done with what he inherited when he walked through the door? And the budget that he was given to operate in, what what more could he have yeah. done? Fifth, fourth, yeah. really? No, I mean, you know, we got to be realistic. We knew that the thin squad was going to come back and bite us on the ass, and it did, and it did it at just the wrong time. But you know, yeah, I think he only loses a half point for you know those couple of games where I got a bit wound up, like I say, yeah. Liverpool at home. Yeah. And Man United away were the two that really frustrated the life out of me. Because here's the thing. I mean, you look at the game that we played against Manchester City at the Etihad. Yeah. We lost yeah. that 2-1. But we we played in such a way that everyone was yeah. like, you know, oh, wow, Whoa. we played really well in defeat. Yeah. We went down on our shield, this, that, and the other. Now, if we'd have set up like that against Manchester United away and against Liverpool at home, yeah, we might still have lost. But you know what? I'd have felt a little bit more like, oh, wow, you know, my boys had a real good go. They just came up short on the day. But you know, you I think, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, Kyle, go on, go on, Kyle, go on. I think that if we would have played, Man United were there for the taking because they had players oh, missing. So I don't think there was no need to go into that game with any. We are West Ham, and the season was having. They should have been afraid of us. And yeah, it was, and they ended up beating us by an own goal. Do you understand? It was. Oh no, that was the FA Cup. Sorry, what was the score? In the league game at Old Trafford, three one nil. Yeah, or one nil at Old Trafford, three one. Yeah, it was one nil, was it? Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. So, and that was an old goal. It was. It was. It was an old goal, it Dawson, was. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was. And that was, was a foul, was. man. Yeah. That was a foul. I think that was a foul. But I'm saying, like, we lost to an own goal, and they was there for the taking. But going back to you, Duke, I think um, when Moy didn't sign someone in January. Yeah. He may well have known that his budget is the budget. If you want to sign someone now, then that eats into the tr uh, into the summer one. So maybe he was like, you know, what? I want to spend all that money. So yeah, I don't really blame. Yeah. Maybe he's taking a flat for the owners, but I don't blame um, Moyes for not. I think he just come out and and just sort of put on a front for them. And you understand? I think he's got a plan. Is yeah. let me spend yeah. all this in the summer. So I want me personally. I won't take a point for that um, or any point off for that. So he's definitely a nine point five. I say a nine point because yo, yo, yo. Go on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. yeah, we 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 was we let ourselves down against Liverpool and Man United, but then we have to think of the games against Leicester where we beat them uh, three nil, four nil, three nil. So there's four games, nil, games was, that huh? there's games that we weren't expected to win that we no, did that win. So that we're not going to win every single game, but yeah. So I, he definitely for me is a nine point five. Yo, yo, Kyle, Kyle, what's your rating on Moyes, Dark? Yeah, it's between nine, nine and a half. Uh, yeah, everyone I've spoken, I kind of, I kind of agree with everything. The sort of yeah. uh, not playing too well against the big teams and big sort of a few games where we bottled it. Yeah. That's bound to happen. It's yeah. a thirty-eight game season. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he kind of did his job, didn't he? Like overall. Oh, I um, no, but he not only did he do his job, he went above and beyond on his job, no, really. Man, I mean, man. well, the, what, what the did we expect? Yeah, no, man. none of us expected six, did we? No, let's, let's no, be, let's be real about it. expected like 13th or 14th or some shit like that. Then, they, then the season kept going on, and I'm like, oh my days, 
we're finishing fourth. And then Duke is like, we're finishing third. And then like Gonzo's father's like, we're finishing third. And it's like, it just kept go going on. It was nuts. It was like, what a season. What a season. And like, it was lovely. And people that say that this is a one-off, I don't agree with that. I think we built the foundation and Russ agrees with me too. We built the foundation and we're going to grow. And I really think that is doable, possible, and will happen. <laughs> Shut up, Sammy Lee being offside in 81. No, I'm laughing at Fresh Fielder's comments. Oh, what about Fresh? He's in the building. He's, oh, Fresh he's, made a he's good pissed comment. off League Cup final. Oh. Some, some people hold a grudge for many, many years. Let it go, Fresh. Let it go. It'll I'm only still, rot, no, it'll still only rot you. I'm still Yo, let it go. Yo, Fresh, you made a good uh, a good comment about, like, I don't know if it was on this show or Russ's show, but he made a good, good comment about, like, David Moyes will be, like, the bargain hunter. And, like, I think he will. I think he will. Like, you give the man $85 million, he'll be able to sign, like, a few players with that. And I think he'll be the bargain hunter, man. Real talk. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're, we're probably going to do a, a, a rating show when we do the other show, Gates. We do that at the same time, I suppose. We can we can do that in a in a big old set. We'll we'll talk more um, tomorrow, mate, about you know the, the plans for the show. Um, and we'll you, me, and, and Andy will have a oh, bloody hell. You, me, and Andy will have a, a proper chat. Um, Andy, you fallen asleep? Hello, son. Um, we'll have a we'll have a proper chat um, tomorrow over over voice notes and stuff to get some some bits down and, and sorted on on the Twitter page because um, I don't want to do too much here. Um, Big up, Kieran. What was just wanted to say that I'm going to go, uh, Andy. What was your game of the season for you? What was your what was your favourite game of the season? Uh, Wolves at home because I think that's what. Started it round for our season to be good, so uh, I'll Agreed. have to say that one to, them, to be honest. If, it, what, if that result went the other way, I think it could have been a totally different season, season. potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I look forward to seeing your commentary on that one in December. Um, <laughs> Gacy, what, what about you? What was your, your favorite game of the season, mate? You'll have to tune into our end of season awards night to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you <laughs> absolute arse bandit. There's no need. No need whatsoever. Tits, what about yes, you? Yes, there is. It's, it's, to no, get, it's to get no. viewers. It's to tempt them in. Tempt them in. Tempt them in like a dancer. Tempt them in like a dancer. Tempt them in. Tits, your favourite game of the season? Might has to be the, the comeback against Spurs. Has to be. And the goal, like that... That Let goal, was, like wow. So yeah, for me, that was that was a standout game of the season, and because it was Spurs as well. So that's that's yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, listen, um, Pete, what about you? Before I before I give mine, uh, yo, 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 Dookie baby, you know I love you to bits and pieces, dog. Like some Reese's pieces and like some vanilla ice cream. How you mean, dog? But it's like, yo, man, my favorite game of the season. If, like, okay, if I had to pick a favorite game of the season, it would be Aston Villa. But, like, if I had to pick a favorite game for uh, 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 um, something that happened in that match, it would have been, and I don't know what game it was. And if it's Aston Villa, I'm going to feel stupid. But it's when Lingard, when, 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 um, it, who was it? Sue Fowl got the ball. Um, and then four and out back past it to Lingard, Wolves, and Lingard Wolves ran away. up the whole pitch to the Maradona and then scored. I forget <laughs> who that was against, but that's my favorite moment Wolves. of the season. Who was that, man? That's Wolves away. Was it? There you go, then. Done. That's me. Done. Yeah, man. That that's was yours. like. That was like Rafael Morrison things, man. Like that was Maradona things, man. That was like whoa, like. I couldn't believe it, man. Like, when Ravel Morrison did that against Spurs, I was watching the match with my father and a Spurs supporter who's my one of my father's, like, best mates. And he's from, like, Shepherd's Bush. And it's like, yo, I'm watching the match with, like, my dad and Andy. 
and like, yo, not Andy Miles, 100 miles and running, but like, because he's a West Ham man through and through, come on, you irons. But it's like, yo, when I watched that goal, like, yo, Ravon Morrison, he just like ran the whole thing, and I got the goal, and Lingard basically did the same thing, man, but even better, because like, he went across the pitch, and then McKenna Antonio brought like two, three players his way, and then Lingard scored. It was magic. That, yeah, that's my favorite moment, and I guess that's my favorite game. What about you, Duke? I'll, I'll, I'll come to me afterwards. Cal, what about you, buddy? What was your uh, your standout game, your standout moment? God, love. Um, that's a tough one to just think of. There's been a lot. It's been one. On, it's, it, we, we've been blessed this season with so many. Yes. Yeah. Uh, even even games like the 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 Leicester and the Wolves games with uh, Moyes wasn't there and we'd Alan Irvin controlling it all and we go and trump all of them. I think they have to be up there. Um, ah, it's, yeah, it's, it, has to be the it has to be the Spurs draw though. It has yeah. to be that Spurs draw. I yeah, I got more excited like the there with the draw than I have with most wins. Yeah, that that uh, Danny goal was mad. Like that was that was like honestly, I'll tell you the honest story. Like I I was watching the match and then like like they were three up and then we scored one back and then we scored another back and I like just like lied on my bed. I'm like, this is over. And then Lanzini out of nowhere, just like boosh, like that has to be goal of the season. I don't business. And then David Moyes has to be manager of the year. I don't business. That's my that's peach final dark stuff. It's rough. <laughs> I mean, listen. I I watched that. For me, it was it was the Spurs game, and and I I watched it in the pub when we were open, um, and I was there, there was, with there you. Was, there, yeah, <laughs> there was a few there was a few <laughs> West Ham fans in the pub, and we were three 0 down, and I I went round to Gatesy, um, uh, sixteen minutes in, and he's looking at it going, yep. uh, and of course, who was who was sat with me, Duke? Yeah, oh, yeah, your 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 yid missus um, was was sat there with you, um, and I'd, I'll be honest, I thought after 16 minutes, couple of couple of West Ham fans, and I think the odd Spurs fan was there as well alongside uh, Casey's lovely lovely wife, and um, <laughs> I I was I was very much like oh god, and then you know we eight eight minutes Bring eight minutes day, well, yeah. I say eight minutes it was 12 minutes it was. You know, but we get the first one back, and you're kind of going, uh, uh, "All right, at least we haven't, you know, at least at least we've got one goal." And then, you know, we get the second one, and I was in the pub, and 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 that was me. I'd gone from here mm. to here at this point. I was yeah. like, it was it was madness. And um, when when Lanzini scored in, you know, that th- was it, 90, 93rd, 94th yeah. minute. Yeah. When when that went in, I I I'll be honest. I'm I'm not ashamed to say it. I lost my shit. I lost yeah. my shit in my pub. I, I literally I ran I ran round the corner. Um, considering no one's meant to be standing up in the pubs at this point, um, I had some guy come and jump on my back in the pub. Some some random West Ham guest customer that was in my pub. He come and jumped on my back. Um, and we were celebrating like it was, you know, we we picked up three points. It felt like a win to be yes, behind for yes. so long in the game and to come back yes. for me yes. was just <laughs> and yeah, that, yeah, exactly. The yeah, yeah. expression, yeah, yeah. watching yeah. their expressions, yeah. and yeah. even yeah. now yeah. when they yeah. kind yeah. of come up, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Like yeah. I say, yeah, in that game, like you said, I thought we was gonna get spanked because it was three 0 after. 16, 20 minutes, right? Minutes. Yes. Was, yeah. so that, yes. that makes it even better for us because somehow we didn't let them score after the third. They looked like they was rampant. I thought we're going to get spanked. Oh, yeah. Seven goals yeah. here. Now, and obviously, yeah, like I spoke to Davey and I was saying to look, what people sort of missed, were, and someone just put in a comment, is that Yarmolenko, who doesn't work much anyway, he tracked back, right. Bell right. should have scored, and he kind of, it might, they could have gave a foul for that. And Right, that, that would have made it four, four, two, or would have made it four one at the time, but yeah, four two. So he should have scored. But Yarmolenko, I think, fouled him, 
Um, yeah, I do, yeah. But he worked hard to get back there, and that's kind of not what he does. Anyway, so it weren't just a comeback. It was where we started off. That could have been a 6 or 7 nil game. Right. Then, um, literally, with minutes to go, which you think, nah, this, yeah, let's get a goal and save face. And, yeah, so it was more than just a comeback. It was like how we stem the tide from 3-0, because that could have easily just yeah. got out of control. So, overall, that yeah. for me, that, that's the standard. That has to be the standard. And it was Spurs as well. Yo, yo, Titch, 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 who was the, it, was it Garmelenko that passed the ball to Lanzini when he scored? Yeah, it was. No. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. No, 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 no. It was, it, no, it, no they it, wasn't it, it, wasn't it? It was cleared. And you know what? Another okay, thing. Word up, word up, word up, word up. Another word up, thing word up. that we don't notice is that when Lanzini scored, if you see what Ogbonna done, he he comes across what, um I think, Winks. So he takes Harry him Winks, yeah. If he didn't do that, Winks would have got a block. So Ogbonna was very um, smart in what he'd done there. So that game is definitely the standout mm-hmm. game for me, anyway. God, Barna, he's the, he, he's, he, 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 like, yo, God, Barna is a blood clot G, man. Like, I don't business, man. That man is like, like, did, did, can I ask you all a question? Like, did y'all no. kind of like go, go, no, shut up. Did y'all <laughs> kind of like, yo, did y'all kind of like, go sour off like old Bono for a bit and then like he just proved himself or was that just me because i did i kind of yeah. went sour on him and i was like yeah he ain't that well i came through man always always really okay word up i i i, I was different things still man i, I like, knew about Ogbonna from from when he was at torino so and when we got to West Ham, before you Juve, time, before you Juventus time, Doc, how you mean? Yeah, Torino. So I know, yeah, like I, he, I, I rate him very, very highly. So, yeah. What you, yo? What, what's your thoughts on what's your thoughts on Diop, Titch? Nah. Right. I think that he'll have some good games, but I think overall he's he's a liability man, and that one ball over the top keeps on catching him out. So he'll have good games, but. What is that? It's, it's Andy yeah. typing. Andy, Andy, Andy types and, and punches his keyboard yeah. when, he, when he when he types. He's like, he's, I know it's he's like a, he was like the key. Incredible Hulk, like just banging <laughs> his keyboard up, dog. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, he's um, like Donkey Kong. The, I think. The, I, think Kong, yes. <laughs> I think we need to we need to sell him. I think we paid eighteen million for him. If we can get twelve mil, we've had him for three seasons. I think four seasons. I think we need to sell him because he's to me he's a liability man. He no makes way we're selling him for twelve mil. I think Pardon? we paid like twenty two. There's no way we'd sell him for that little. We'd we'd want twenty five. Like twenty five. No time. way. Eight million. He's a liability man. He makes me very very nervous. Like really nervous. I, I, I made my I made my feelings clear. What's your feeling? I made feeling? my feelings clear on on Diop, and I I'd, I'd love to see. Moyes get hold of him and retrain him um, to be back up to to um, Suchek and Rice in the CDM role. I think he can play football. I think he's great with the ball at his feet. As you said there, Titch, he's a massive liability when the ball yeah. goes over over his head and he's not he's not switched on. I think if you push him a little bit further up the pitch where he's not so much of a liability and you put him in a position where, I mean, listen, the guy can play football. He's, yeah. he's good with the ball at his feet. We've seen him carry the ball out from defence yeah. a few times. I mean, against Leeds, I think he was on the right wing trying to put a cross in, for fuck's sake. I mean, yeah. that's not what you're expecting from your from your centre-back. So, I think he I yeah. think he would have more of a prosperous career if he was moved forward into a defensive midfielder role. Yeah, um, and I'd like to maybe see him being given that shot um, in the summer, um, you know, yeah. in, in the pre-season friendlies. Um Again, Lanzini can sit there. Um, we, he proved that, um, uh, you know, against was it Burnley? He proved that he can he can play the holding role. Um, you know, if if we, we Lanzini's probably going to save us about twenty million pound if we keep him yeah. this season by yeah. us not having to buy a, a CDM, if you will. If uh, if we can retrain Diop to be a, a CDM, then. Um, Again, it's another twenty million pounds saved, and it's it's players that a we don't get rid of because we need to keep a, a, a squad for an assault on Europe next year. But it also then yeah. frees up funds to go elsewhere, um, 
you know, that, that, that extra 20 or 40 million pounds for those two players, um, frees yeah, it up, maybe buy an extra Duke, striker. Duke, I know, I do, Duke, I know that we're in Europe, like we're going on a European tour, I'm so happy, but it's like, I think Mark Noble will do well in Europe. I even think like Felipe Anderson will do well in Europe. Who would you, if you were David Moyes and you had three players to get rid of, who would those three players be? Um, I'd and release Yamalenko. Yeah. I'd release Yamalenko. Um, that, that, yeah. that, for me, that's a no-brainer. I yeah. just don't think he has what it takes to, and, and what, what he needs to offer now. For um, it's always on. The yeah, line. I mean, yeah. I mean uh, it, it'd be all right if he went to Italy. No disrespect to Italian football, but the pace is a lot slower in Italy. I feel personally. Um, so it, it, you know, if he if he went there as an attacking player, they they seem to have a lot more time on the ball. So I just feel that he'd do better there. Um, Second player, I, I, I know Andy likes him. But for right. me, if if a, if a decent enough bid came in for Masuaku, I'm no, Andy, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, Andy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 um, no, no. I'd, I'd, I think I'd let, I'd, I'd let him go. No. Um, yeah. How much? Uh, f- uh, 12 million. 12 no, million would be good no, enough no. to let him go. Okay, third, um, third player. So you got Yarmolenko, Masuaku, like off mm-hmm. on the ship. Winston, Winston, Reed, Win, Winston, Winston Reed would be the other one. Fresh has mentioned his name there. Oh, Winston Reed, yeah. I just no yeah. no disrespect again to, yeah. to to Reed. I think what he's been man. a fantastic servant, yeah. but I just think we're we're beyond that now, and we need someone better as backup. Um, yeah. You know, we in fact we need to bring someone in that's now going to replace Dawson. So Dawson becomes the backup, exactly. or we need to bring yeah. in someone that that's going to push. Or if we bring in two, we we bring in two, and, and one pushes on Bonner all no. the way for that first team. <laughs> but he pushes him for the first yeah, team yeah, spot. Yeah. I'm not saying he takes yeah. it, yeah. but he really yeah. pushes him and, and, and makes him feel better. So, yeah, but they'd be my three, Peach, um, Reed, Reed, Yama, and and Mass, and I, I like yeah. Lanzini, and I think he could save us. A significant amount of money if you know 100. he can he can yeah. sit a, sit a bit further back. What 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 three would your be, Gatesy? Gatesy, what three would your be? What to get rid of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think Yarmolenko, definite. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And Anderson, I'm. Um, I know because he might you know, do it in Europe. See, for us, see, that's you know, a difficult one. See, uh, to be honest, when I did my tier list, I I did have him on on the list, but things have changed since then. Um, mm, uh, Reed, so yeah, like again home. with regret, wisdom. Reed, yeah, see you later. Um, I'm probably gonna say Anderson, yeah. Okay, so we all like Anderson, and then who, who else? I'll get rid of Yarmolenko. Yeah. I would read Anderson. Yeah. I personally yeah. would sell Lanzini to free up some funds and bring in uh, 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 Orthodox midfield, what? like defensive midfielder. Yeah, what? definitely. No, Listen, everybody. Was... Smoking, dog? Nobody wanted smoking, Lanzini. Dog? Nobody Man, wanted Lanzini. Wicked in Europe, no, dog. How do you mean, bullshit. man? Me and you Let me say something. Fight, yeah? How do you mean? Let me say something. Nobody wanted Lanzini until he. He had a good game against Burnley. Now let's let's be real. Sure. Lanzini has been a Go passenger on. in our team, so I think if yeah. we can get some money off for him, I would sell him and bring in a more orthodox centre midfield, defensive midfielder. So Yarmolenko, yeah, Anderson, Reed, and then sell Lanzini to to free up some funds. That's what I would. He's never, he's never, he's never been the same after his Achilles injury, has he? He's Honest. not. He's nothing special. I don't know why people are so excited. Lanzini is nothing special. He's gonna have. A few good games, but he cannot play 38 games in the league and be outstanding. He's not that player, seriously. Like when, when I watch him tippy toeing yeah. around, and he's not, he's got, he don't have the heart in a fight, man. Trust me, Lanzini's not the guy for us, seriously. Bro, That's my bro, opinion. Bro, I don't bro, think so. Bro, that, that's dope. That's, that's dope. no way. That, yo, yo, 100 miles from running. What do you say? You know what that? happened? We caught oh, Burnley out. God. We we played a brand of football that Burnley was not expecting. So therefore, everybody looked very good in that game. Do you understand? 
Yeah, he's not yeah, the guy. Yeah, Lanzini yeah. is nothing special. I tell you that now. Word, I, I hear that, man. I hear that. Yo, one hundred miles of running, three players to get rid um, of. One, uh, Randolph. Oh yeah, him as well. Um, oh, 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 look at Titch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Um, Stop already. No, 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 no. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for you, just for you, Cal, Colonel Coventry. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, Fred, Fredericks, Randolph, and Yama for me. Fred- yeah, Fredericks. No, yeah, 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 Fredericks. Fredericks is shocking, man. He's, he's, that's yeah, a he's, good shout. Ah, he's not that bad. Yo, he's not that bad. A- nah, Fredericks is yo, awful, man. He's bad. Yo, yo, Cal, are you gonna say Randolph and like, like, piss your own countrymen off, or like, what's up? We nah, them, there's not there's not enough of us to be trying to piss each other off. We have to stick <laughs> together. Uh, um, I'll go for uh, Reedy, uh, yeah. Lanzini, yeah. Yarmo. Yeah, Lanzini. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, kind, yeah, of, they're, they're yeah. kind of self-explanatory. So the usual suspects really are like Lanzini and Yarmo. Because like, I can really see Anderson really doing more for us like, in the next few years than Lanzini. Because yeah. anytime Lanzini plays, he's injured too much. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Only thing I'd counter with is that because of Lanzini has what another three years on his contract, so it might actually be cheaper in a in a funny sort of way to get rid of Anderson than exactly. it would be to get rid of oh. Lanzini for that reason. What about one one hundred? Yeah, but we would get a bigger transfer for Lanzini, and he's had people are now speaking about him. So I think now is yeah. the time to sell Lanzini, possibly. But, yeah, I mean, maybe two, two PSG. Well, PSG will throw some money at him. You understand? I don't and, think and transfer we, scouts yeah. are looking at West Ham Twitter. It makes Did sense. It that, makes sense, man. That makes that makes mad sense, man. Hey, like, wow. this fresh finder, yeah. Everybody on that list, apart from Masuaku, I agree with you. One, two, three. Yo, no, Masuaku, we got to keep him. Like, Masuaku, he doesn't do anything in the back third. He doesn't do anything in the front third. But, like, he does everything in between. And he doesn't do nah. like, you know what I mean? That's just me, man. I keep him, man, all day long. How do you mean? I keep him all day long, man. Because he does, like, homeboy looks like Messi on the ball at certain times, like, in the middle of the pitch, man. Like... Yo, he, 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 yo, he does two things, man. They got mass whack, man. How you mean? Right, boys, we have been going for over two hours again. <laughs> about about half hour ago, I said we're going to Who did that say? England? Land, did that say we England's land, next? Land. He's from bloody Tala. It's it's not like he's Declan Rice, who's an English born to Irish people. He's from Tala in Dublin. Where he's from the same think, places like Joey I O'Brien. Think, I, think, I think he might no, be where, just where, trying where, to piss yo, you yo, off. Cardo, where did we yeah. get Lanzini from? It was like some uh, um, not Algerian. It was UAE or Dubai or something like Dubai. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Trust me, man. Like, oh man, yeah, oh, I hear you, dog. One hundred percent. Like, I think. Oh, my- I think next next season, Hello. I think we're going to light it up. Man. Like I know a lot of people say, like, oh, this is a one-off season. I think David Moyes is building something, like I showed you before, and me and Russ were talking about it. And, like, yo, I think we're going to light it up, man. Real talk, man. I don't think this is the last, like, good season that you're going to see. I think it's just going to grow. And if we get some investors up in the place and get these, like, I don't know, uh, what do you call them? Uh, three numb nuts, or like the three amigos, like out. Better days, man. Happy days, man. How do you mean? We can only hope. So, as I was saying, before my screen decided to freeze up and disappear on me, um, we've been going over two hours, so I'm going to bring it to a close now. Gacy, uh, take the stage, my friend, and do your bit. Yes, Katie, go on. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen watching live or watching subsequently, if you could just bear with me for this one. Um, This is our appeal for young Isla Caton, a six-year-old girl fighting for her very life with um, a rare form of cancer called neuroblastoma. There ain't no treatment for this in this country, so her family can't just rock up at her local hospital and say, sort this one out for us, and off she goes. Um, they've got to pay for the treatment, 
overseas. So in the middle of this pandemic that we're all going through, they've got to jump on a plane, go to far flung places to get experimental treatment to help this year, little girl to, you know, see another year on this earth. Um, this is very expensive guys. As you can imagine, they've got to pay for the flights, the treatment, the accommodation, their living costs while they're there. Uh, and the bills are still piling up in the UK. That doesn't stop. So you've got the PayPal and the just giving link on the screen in front of you. This is on the link below the stream on YouTube. So you can get it from there. Go onto the PayPal or the Just Giving. Put a couple of quid in. Um, no donation is too small. Anything from a pound upwards will be received with a great deal of gratitude. Um, you can also copy and paste the um, the information in front of you. That's as I say again is on the description below the stream on YouTube. Put that onto your social media platforms: your Facebook, your Twitter, your WhatsApp, your Instagram, all of that. Um, and, and get the message out there, guys, because we need to get the momentum, keep the momentum behind this, because time is to the essence of this little girl. Um, you know, we shouldn't be having a situation like this, in my opinion. I speak as a father of three children, and I can't imagine what this family are going through. Um, we need to come together as, you know, not just as West Ham fans, not just as football fans, just as decent human beings to try and give this girl a shot at living to see another year on this earth, another and beyond that, you know, sort of like another 10 years, 20 years, whatever. This shouldn't be happening, guys. So come on, let's let's get together and let's help this family out, shall we? Let's do some good. Yeah, yeah. as you say, guys, see everyone pull together and, and, and we can do. Um, so um, I want to say thank you to everyone who's taken the time to uh, be in the chat and, and comment in the live chat and give us some things, uh, some bits to talk about. I want to thank my guests in the uh, in the order that they joined me. So, uh, Andy, thank you very much for coming along, sir. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. And we shall talk tomorrow about uh, the award show. Um, mm -hmm. Cal, thank you for coming along, sir. Thank you for having me. Always, always a pleasure. You are welcome every time we do a show. Uh, Teach, thank you for joining us. Although it was a bit later on, it was uh, it's, it's always thank good you. to have you on, buddy. Thanks for having me. Def yeah, I mean that. I'm glad we could bring you out of the cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and warm. And West Ham random. Oh, Duke, I love you to pieces, man. Yo, Dukey baby, I love you to pieces, dog. Come on, you irons, let's have it. We love you too, Pete. You're always welcome. And as always, to my. Left hand side over here, my wingman, my partner in crime, uh, the guy that has, has helped me make all of this possible. This way, I'm going the right way. way. You're going the wrong way. Go over the other shoulder, Tix. This uh, one, no, no, other way. No, no, the other way. Over the other don't... shoulder. There oh. you go. There it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gates. Thank you for being here and being my partner in this uh, this setup, sir. Well, Mr. Juki, do you know something? I I I was doing the cooking tonight with Jippy, and I gave him some Korean meatballs. Ah, yes, now what a dog's balls, George. <laughs> He left me a message like that on WhatsApp the other day, and I was like, who the fuck is this? Dog? And it was great to <laughs> hey, John, John McEnroe. <laughs> Peach. So, Peach, you've been nom you've been nominated as the uh, fourth for my man in a match tonight, and he called you what? John McEnroe. <laughs> what? By Mister Foe. Um, just a quick answer to uh, Fresh um, Gacy put it up in the uh, on a banner. We are uh, right next to Blue Water uh, in Greenhive. So, if you're local or you're about and you want to come down, come on in. Um, it will always be a pleasure. Um, dark fruit things, dog. How you mean? Dark fruit things, dog. Yo, how do you mean, oh, man? Stop encouraging him. So please stop encouraging him. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Dark fruit things, dog. How do you mean, man? Blue water things, the biggest small like in the land, and you're right there. The bull. Right on top the of it. Bull. I can see it from the my bull. front room window, Pete. The bull, the bull, the bull is on fire. We don't need no water. Let this mother burn. The bull, the bull, the bull, you want your... the bull is on fire. Trust me. Oh. 
I'm, 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 I'm a headache. I'm a headache, but I'm a good headache, dog. Oh, you a good headache, headache so, like you want to keep having, like so you don't, you don't even want to take aspirin or like no nothing, like you just want to keep having them headaches, dog. Straight up, man. I'm a hammer. Headache, dog. A hammer. A hammer. He's a hammer. I'm a, I'm a headache. Word, Andy. I'm gonna put that in a rhyme. I'm a hammer headache. Yo, trust me. What are I'm we, Andy? Headache. That's wow. not on the Friday. It's how we ride the one we do it on the Friday. Yo, <laughs> it's season time to tell that, but they didn't even say that. Well, Pete, yo, he's a hammer headache. Trust me, now. Yes, oh. Andy. <laughs> uh, Andy, we're why are we? We're fucking massive. We are yes. fucking massive. Yes. And everyone else, one last thing to sign Andy. off with. Andy, can Hi, I see you? Words. Andy, show me your fingers, please. Show me your hands. Yeah, that's them beating on a keyboard. Bop, bop. <laughs> He's Big got fingers, right? they're, they're like They're like claws Yeah, now. man. I was thinking, what the hell is going on? They're like, but they're like <laughs> bear claws, dog. Like, in, in Canada, we got grizzly bears. Their hands are in the big yeah. hands. Oh, he's you just know, doing another song about bears. Yo, do you know what, Gretchen, do you know what big hands mean? Big what? Small. Yeah. What? No, do you know what big hands mean? Like, if I'm yeah, in that large big hands, do you know what big yeah. hands mean? Small something else. I got tiny hands. No, no, no. big gloves, dog. Big gloves, dog. How do you mean? Come on, you iron. <laughs> Love you all. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. Basically, <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. Ben, Peace ben. out. Nice one. Peace out. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>